Welcome to Fantasy Audiobook, Konoha, Resurrect Senju, Cut Off Kashina at the Beginning. Chapter 1, Fire Nation, Konoha Village. Look, this is the last man of the Senju clan, Senju Takuya. He's so handsome, he's holding a cake in his hand. He wants to celebrate his birthday alone. How pitiful. It's such a pity that the once glorious Senju clan is now the only man left. Sigh, the only man left is not even a ninja. I'm afraid it won't be long before the Senju clan will completely disappear from history. Senju Takuya walks on the road, no matter where he passes, everyone will talk about it. There is no other reason. Because the Senju clan, which once established Konoha and was so glorious, is now the only man left. Especially, he has not chosen to become a ninja. Under such circumstances, it is difficult not to attract others' attention. Only, Senju Takuya had long been accustomed to the chatter in his ears, so he ignored it and silently walked back to the Senju clan's territory. After entering his own courtyard, Senju Takuya put the cake down. Today, it's his 20th birthday, he actually doesn't pay much attention to birthdays. But, today is something special. After the time reached 12 o'clock, a delicate female voice immediately sounded in Senju Takuya's mind. It is detected that the host reaches 20 years old, and the family rejuvenation system is officially launched. Senju Takuya breathed a sigh of relief when he heard the system prompt. Ten years ago, after the system awakened, it left a gift package for newbies and then disappeared. After so long, it finally opened again. In this case, my plan can begin to be implemented. A smile appeared on Senju Takuya's face. To revive a family, the number of clan members is the most important. Therefore, the first thing is of course to get a wife and have children. As for the choice, Uzumaki Kashina is the best target. Dot dot dot. Boom, 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 dot dot dot. While Senju Takuya was thinking, there was a knock on the door. Coming, Senju Takuya walked out and opened the door. Why close the door in broad daylight? Tsunade glanced at Senju Takuya and snorted. Seeing Tsunade walk into the room skillfully, Senju Takuya's face remained calm. As one of the few members of the Senju clan, Tsunade has a very good relationship with him. Why are you here? Of course it's for your birthday. Tsunade glanced at the cake on the table and said matter-of-factly. Seeing Senju Takuya still staring at her, she added another sentence. I'd like to borrow some money from you by the way. I knew it. After hearing Tsunade's words, Senju Takuya showed a look of understanding. Tsunade is the type of character who never goes to the Three Treasures Palace without any trouble. Every time the other party comes over, there is something he needs help with. Of course, Tsunade did take good care of him over the years. If it weren't for Tsunade, he wouldn't have been able to bear the name of the Senju clan until now. How much can I borrow this time? Senju Takuya asked calmly. Hum. Point one zero zero w tails. Tsunade held out a finger and said with a smile. No money. Senju Takuya shook his head slightly. Asshole, please come up with a decent excuse. Tsunade rolled his eyes. In this ninja world, anyone can say that they have no money, except Senju Takuya. Although the Senju Takuya lineage has not produced any powerful ninjas. However, he has always been very business-minded. From ancient times to the present, under the protection of the Senju clan, industry has spread throughout the ninja world. By Senju Takuya's generation, although the Senju clan has become lonely, those industries are still controlled by Senju Takuya. Tsunade has estimated that Senju Takuya's current assets are almost enough to buy half of the Fire Nation. It is no exaggeration to say that wealth can rival a country. Takuya, just lend me some money. Sister, you have taken good care of you over the years, right? Tsunade looked at Senju Takuya and begged. That's not okay. Tell me yourself, how much do you owe me? Senju Takuya said unmoved. Well, almost 100 million. Tsunade said without blushing or heart beating. 100 million is an astronomical figure to others, but to Senju Takuya, it is simply a drop in the bucket. 100 million is more than enough to buy you. Senju Takuya said pretending to be angry. It's not that he cares about money, but he has other ideas in mind. If you want to marry Uzumaki Kashina, Tsunade's support is essential. Therefore, he naturally wants to take care of Tsunade first. Good brother, please help my sister. 
Seeing Senju Takuya's unhappy expression, Tsunade took the initiative to go to his side. He took Senju Takuya's arm, put it on his chest and shook it a few times. In the past, when Tsunade borrowed money from Senju Takuya, this move was always successful. Gulu, feeling the exquisite touch, Senju Takuya couldn't help but swallow. Although it was not the first time, it still made his heart surge. However, with his current strength, he would not dare to take advantage of Tsunade, a humanoid Tyrannosaurus. Otherwise, if you accidentally make the other party angry, you will probably be ruined. Ahem, I can lend you money. But you have to do me a favor. Senju Takuya saw that the time was almost ripe, so he took the initiative to speak. Snort, smelly brother, tell me, what do you want me to do? Tsunade said with a somewhat proud expression when he saw Senju Takuya relent. It seems that his charm is still too great. I want to marry Kashina. Senju Takuya said directly. What? Hearing Senju Takuya's words, Tsunade couldn't help but exclaimed. I said, I want to marry Kashina. Senju Takuya repeated. This is not easy to handle. Tsunade couldn't help but frown. Kashina is the next Nine Tails Jinchuriki appointed by the village. If you want to become Kashina's husband, you must obtain the consent of the village. If it were easy, I wouldn't be looking for you. Senju Takuya curled his lips and said. No, Kashina is my good sister, our relationship is closer than family members. You want me to betray my sisters for just one million? Tsunade said righteously. So there's nothing to talk about? Senju Takuya asked, raising an eyebrow. Ten million tails. Lend me ten million tails, and this matter will be taken care of by me. Tsunade crossed his arms and said. As long as this thing can be done, I will not only give you ten million tails, but the money you owed me before will also be written off. Senju Takuya said boldly. For Senju Takuya, who has countless assets, any problem that can be solved with money is not a problem. Let's go, come with me to find grandma. In order to get the money as soon as possible, Tsunade pulled Senju Takuya and walked outside. Although Kashina is the next Nine Tails Jinchuriki, as Senju Takuya, it is not particularly difficult to marry Kashina. As long as her grandma opens her mouth, she will definitely succeed. Tsunade almost laughed when he thought of this. She seemed to have seen that Ten Million Liang was waving to her. Grandmother, arriving at the central house of the Senju clan, Tsunade walked in and shouted loudly. Immediately afterwards, a kind-hearted old man came out. Mido sama it's little Takuya. Seeing Senju Takuya, Uzumaki Mido showed a warm smile on his face. Why did you two come here together today? Looking at Tsunade and Senju Takuya, Uzumaki Mido asked strangely. Grandma, we are here today to ask you a favor. Tsunade said with a smile. Oh, how can I, an old woman, help you? Uzumaki Mido asked kindly. Mido-sama, I want to marry Kashina. Senju Takuya made his purpose clear. Yeah, that's great. Speaking of which, Kashina has reached the age where she should get married. It would be great if little Takuya could get married. Uzumaki Mido said happily. A few years ago, the Uzumaki clan was exterminated, and the Uzumaki clan was almost exterminated. She and Uzumaki Kashina are the only Uzumaki clan members in Konoha now. Same, now there are only two people in Konoha with the surname, Senju, Tsunade and Senju Takuya. As the wife of Senju Hashirama, Uzumaki Mido is happy to hear Senju Takuya's idea of marrying Uzumaki Kashina. Grandma, you forgot, Kashina is the next Nine Tails Jinchuriki. If you want to marry Kashina, you must first obtain permission from the village. Tsunade reminded. Well, that's indeed the truth. Well, I'll go to the village later and talk to the little monkey about this. You don't have to worry too much. As long as I come forward, there should be no problem in this matter. Uzumaki Mido said with a smile. Then thank you Mido-sama. Senju Takuya said quickly. Thank you for nothing. Speaking of which, I am alive today thanks to you, little Takuya. Uzumaki Mido smiled and waved his hand. After a few people chatted for a while, Uzumaki Mido left for the Hokage building. After she left, the smile on Tsunade's face slowly disappeared. Takuya, do you still have the longevity pill in your hand? Tsunade looked at Senju Takuya and asked seriously. She could feel that the life force in Uzumaki Mido was about to run out. There is none left. 
I got that kind of thing by accident. Senju Takuya shook his head. Longevity elixir. It was a pill he got from the novice gift package given by the system 10 years ago. It can extend people's life by 10 years. At the beginning, Uzumaki Mito's life was coming to an end. In order to continue to receive Uzumaki Mito's protection, Senju Takuya took out the longevity pill. This succeeded in allowing Uzumaki Mito to live for 10 more years. It was precisely for this reason that Tsunade did not choose to leave Konoha village after Senju Nawaki's death. Instead, he lives with Uzumaki Mito in the Senju clan's clan. If it weren't for Uzumaki Mito and Tsunade, he alone would have been eaten up by Sarutobi Hiruzen and Shimura Danzo. Pity, Tsunade raised his head and sighed. At that time, Uzumaki Mito's life force was almost exhausted. Even as the best medical ninja in the ninja world, she was powerless to face that situation. However, Senju Takuya just used an inconspicuous pill to revive his grandmother and she is still alive today. Even thinking about it now, Tsunade feels a little weird. Forget it, forget it if you don't have it. Grandma's ability to survive till now is enough. Tsunade calmed down and said carelessly. Remember to come over for dinner tonight. I'll call Kashina over. Dot dot dot. Hokage building. Hokage office. Sarutobi Hiruzen was looking down at the pile of documents on the table. Suddenly, a kind and kind laughter rang out. Mito sama Why are you here? Sarutobi Hiruzen raised his head and saw Uzumaki Mito pushing the door open and walking in. Little monkey, long time no see. You have a lot more wrinkles on your face. Uzumaki Mito said with a smile. Hee hee. In response to Uzumaki Mito's teasing, Sarutobi Hiruzen could only smile awkwardly. Now in the entire Konoha village, this person is probably the only one who dares to tease his Hokage like this. Mito-sama, what's the matter with you? Sarutobi Hiruzen asked after helping Uzumaki Mito sit down. Ever since the Uzumaki clan was wiped out, this man has not left the Senju clan's territory for a long time. There must be something very important when you suddenly come to see him today. It's Kashina's business. Our little Takuya wants me to help him match up with Kashina. Why don't I come to say hello to you? Uzumaki Mito said with a smile. Takuya, Senju Takuya. After hearing Uzumaki Mito's words, information about Senju Takuya instantly appeared in Sarutobi Hiruzen's mind. The only remaining man of the Senju clan. His talent in ninjutsu was mediocre. He dropped out of ninja school at the age of 10 and took over the family business. Even he, the Hokage, is covetous of the current assets. Mito-sama, Kashina has a special status. I don't think her marriage should be decided so hastily. Sarutobi Hiruzen said thoughtfully. As for Uzumaki Kashina's marriage partner, he already has a very satisfied candidate in mind. Namikaze Minato. Born as a civilian, he has no background. Jiraiya's apprentice is from the Hokage line with good roots. A genius ninja with very good strength. In every aspect, Namikaze Minato is much better than Senju Takuya. Little monkey, make no mistake. I came here this time just to inform you, not to listen to your opinions. The smile on Uzumaki Mito's face slowly disappeared, replaced by a suffocating aura. As the wife of Senju Hashirama, the first nine tails Jinchuriki. Uzumaki Mito's strength is among the best even among cage-level experts. Even though he is now old, his aura has not been affected at all. Ah, Mito-sama, I was just saying casually, please calm down first. Feeling the momentum from Uzumaki Mito, Sarutobi Hiruzen suddenly broke out in cold sweat on his forehead. A few years ago, after the Uzumaki clan was wiped out from the village, the news spread back to Konoha, and Uzumaki Mito walked silently into the forest far away from the village. That day, the evil and violent chakra of Nine Tails filled the entire world. No one saw exactly what happened. Sarutobi Hiruzen only knew that with that forest as the center, a radius of dozens of miles became riddled with holes and no grass could grow. The person who caused all this was the seemingly harmless old woman in front of her. How, you have no objection? Uzumaki Mito asked, raising an eyebrow. I was not opposed to it. It's just that for things like marriage, you still need your consent. Sarutobi Hiruzen said cautiously. You don't have to worry about that. Kashina, I will go and tell you. After getting a satisfactory answer, 
Uzumaki Mido's face showed a kind smile again. After saying hello, he turned and left Hokage's office. After she left, Sarutobi Hiruzen sighed helplessly. Although he is now a Hokage, he still has no confidence in front of Uzumaki Mido. This feeling made him feel very uncomfortable. Oh, that's all. Senju Takuya is just a businessman who is not even a ninja. Even if he marries Nine Tails Jinchuriki, he will not make any waves. Besides, Kashina may not choose Senju Takuya yet. It's just that, Senju Takuya suddenly proposed to marry Kashina. Is he trying to express his protest in this way? Sarutobi Hiruzen smoked a cigarette, constantly thinking about various possibilities in his mind. Perhaps, the matter of embezzling the assets of the Senju clan should be slowed down a bit. At least, not until Uzumaki Mido passes away. Konoha Village. Mission Hall. Uzumaki Kashina and Namikaze Minato submitted their work resumes and successfully received their work fees. This time it was really hard. I'll treat you to a barbecue tonight. Namikaze Minato shook the reward he just received in his hand, with a sunny and warm smile on his face. Forget it for today. I'm so tired. I want to take a rest. Faced with Namikaze Minato's invitation, Uzumaki Kashina chose to refuse. That's it. Well, come to me anytime when you have time. I will keep this meal for you. Although he was rejected, Namikaze Minato was not too disappointed. Since saving Uzumaki Kashina from San Shinobi, Kashina's attitude towards him has changed a lot. Although it is just a change, it is still very good. When chasing girls, you need to take your time. Without too much entanglement, Namikaze Minato activated the body flicker technique and disappeared in front of Uzumaki Kashina. After he left, Uzumaki Kashina walked towards the Senju clan's clan. Since coming to Konoha, she has been living with Uzumaki Mido in the Senju clan's clan. Kashina, a familiar voice came from behind. Tsunade sister. Uzumaki Kashina turned around and saw Tsunade walking towards her with a smile. In his hand, he also held two wine bottles filled with wine. You drank again, Uzumaki Kashina said with a frown. Let's have dinner together tonight. Tsunade ignored Uzumaki Kashina and invited directly. Um, I'm a little tired today, Uzumaki Kashina said apologetically. She had just completed a high-intensity mission, and now she just wanted to lie in bed and sleep. She doesn't even want to take a bath. That guy Takuya will be there too. Besides, there is something very important to announce today. Tsunade said with a smile. I just remembered that I haven't had dinner with Grandma Mito for a long time. In that case, let's have a meal together. Uzumaki Kashina changed her words. Seeing Kashina agree, Tsunade smiled even more. Ten million tails. It looks like it will be available soon. With these ten million tails, she can win back her own capital from the casino. By the way, do you have anything important to announce today? Walking on the road, Uzumaki Kashina asked curiously. You'll know then, Tsunade smiled mysteriously. Seeing her like this, Uzumaki Kashina could only suppress her curiosity. Dot dot dot. Night, Senju tribe land, inside the house. Uzumaki Mito looked at the well-dressed Uzumaki Kashina in front of him, with a satisfied smile on his face. This younger generation of my family is really getting more and more beautiful. No wonder little Takuya lets himself be the matchmaker. What man wouldn't be confused after seeing this appearance? Grandma Mito, why do you keep staring at me? Uzumaki Kashina was stared at by Uzumaki Mito, her expression a little unnatural. Kashina, you are getting more and more beautiful. Uzumaki Mito praised. I've been dressing up for hours, how can I not look beautiful? Tsunade took a sip of wine and complained. When I just came back, I obviously felt exhausted. As a result, when dressed up, it was not ambiguous at all. Tsunade sister, Uzumaki Kashina said with some dissatisfaction. Nu, Tsunade decisively chose to shut up. The few chatted for a while, and Uzumaki Kashina's eyes began to glance around. Kashina, what are you looking at? Uzumaki Mito asked with a smile. Ah, I heard that Takuya will also come to have dinner with us. Uzumaki Kashina couldn't help but asked. Of course. He should be arriving soon. Uzumaki Mito looked at the time and said. What's wrong? Can't wait so soon. Tsunade teased again with a smile. Who can't wait? 
It's just that guy has no sense of time, right? We obviously agreed to have dinner together, but we all had to wait for so long. Uzumaki Kashina retorted with some dissatisfaction. Who is talking bad about me behind my back? A hearty laugh sounded. Immediately afterwards, Senju Takuya walked in. Takuya, seeing Senju Takuya, Uzumaki Kashina's eyes lit up. Kashina, long time no see. Senju Takuya naturally sat next to Uzumaki Kashina. You guy, why are you here so late? Uzumaki Kashina asked with a slight snort. I just prepared a few things. Kashina, I haven't seen you for a while, you are beautiful again. Senju Takuya said with a smile. He could tell that Uzumaki Kashina was well-groomed. A woman should look good to those who please her. Since the other party had gone to great lengths to dress up, he didn't mind complimenting the other party. Snort, you guys, if you didn't give up on becoming a ninja, you could go out of the village to perform missions with me now. Uzumaki Kashina said with a slight snort. At that time, Senju Takuya was the same student as her, and her grades in the ninja school were pretty good. However, just when he was about to graduate, he chose to drop out of school and give up on becoming a ninja. This makes Uzumaki Kashina, who has always dreamed of becoming a Hokage, very disappointed. Until now, she still doesn't understand why Senju Takuya chose to give up becoming a ninja. Kashina, some things are not what you think. If I had chosen to become a ninja, I might not have the chance to sit here and eat with you now. Senju Takuya said calmly. After hearing his words, Tsunade and Uzumaki Mito sighed at the same time. They understand this very well. Almost all members of the Senju clan, including Nawaki died on the battlefield of the Ninja World War. If Senju Takuya chooses to become a ninja, the ending may not be much better. Grandma Mito, Sister Tsunade, what's wrong with you? Feeling that something was not right in the atmosphere, Uzumaki Kashina asked strangely. Kashina, there are things I should tell you now. Uzumaki Mito looked at Uzumaki Kashina and said slowly. What's the matter? By the way, didn't I say there was something big to be announced today? What on earth is going on? Uzumaki Kashina couldn't help but ask. Kashina, what is your dream? Uzumaki Mito asked. Of course I want to become a Hokage that everyone admires like third generation Sama. Uzumaki Kashina is a natural Kaido. It has always been her dream to be recognized by everyone and become a Hokage. Kashina, I don't want you to live your whole life in lies told by others. So, tonight, I'm going to tell you the whole truth. Well, Let's start with Serutobi Hiruzen becoming the Hokage. Seeing the confused expression on Uzumaki Kashina's face, Uzumaki Mito decided to tell everything. Konoha was no longer the Konoha her husband had founded. In this case, there is no need for her to continue to cover up anything for Konoha. Seeing Uzumaki Mito's serious look, Uzumaki Kashina sat up straight unconsciously. She had a hunch that what happened tonight might subvert her previous understanding. Finally, after a while, Uzumaki Mito's voice sounded again as he seemed to have organized his words. Back then, when second Hokage Senju Toborama came back from Cloud Shinobi Village, he was attacked by the Golden Horn and Silver Horn brothers of Cloud Shinobi Village and a group of rebel ninjas. In order to protect his disciples, Toborama chose to die alone as Hokage. On his deathbed, appoint Serutobi Hiruzen as the third Hokage. After Serutobi Hiruzen returned to the village, with the support of the Serutobi clan, Shimura clan, Inoshikacho and other families, he successfully took over the position of Hokage. After Serutobi Hiruzen came to power, in order to consolidate his position, he began to suppress Konoha's wealthy families. The Senju clan bears the brunt. Although under the policy of Senju Toborama, many members of the Senju clan chose to give up the surname Senju, they still consider themselves Senju clansmen. But after two great ninja wars, the Senju clan has almost all withered away. The only ones left behind are ordinary people with impure blood or weak strength. Even Nawaki died on the battlefield inexplicably. The top ninja clan that has existed since Sengoku has almost disappeared in just a dozen years. I'm afraid all of this has something to do with the third Hokage you admire. Uzumaki Mito said slowly. In the two great ninja wars, the most dangerous and brutal battlefields were almost entirely occupied by the Senju tribe. The driving force behind this is self-evident. How so? Grandma Mito, 
Sister Tsunade, since you know this, why don't you think of a way? After hearing Uzumaki Mito's words, Uzumaki Kashina asked anxiously. I didn't pay too much attention to it at first, but now that I think about it, the Senju clan is dying too quickly. This is the genius of the little monkey. He didn't do anything shady. He just used his power to send the Senju clan members to the most dangerous battlefield. Even if we wanted to say something, we couldn't find any reason at all. Uzumaki Mito said calmly, could it be that the ninjas of the Senju clan cannot be sent to dangerous battlefields? Once this is done, the reputation of the Senju clan for many years may be ruined. Hateful, Uzumaki Kashina clenched her fists. She clearly knew something was wrong, but she couldn't find any reason to refute it. Could it be? Did Takuya see all this clearly, so he chose to give up becoming a ninja? Uzumaki Mito glanced at Uzumaki Kashina and continued to speak. After the Senju clan was completely lonely, Serutobi Hiruzen began to suppress other wealthy families. The Uchiha clan, the Hyuga clan. Without exception, these ninjas were all seriously injured at the hands of Serutobi Hiruzen. While power in the hands of Serutobi Hiruzen is gradually consolidating, Konoha's strength is also rapidly declining. This also led to the fact that when the Uzumaki clan was besieged, Konoha chose to stand by and watch. Speaking of the Uzumaki clan, Uzumaki Mito sighed. If it was Konoha's heyday, how could the Uzumaki clan end up with their village wiped out? But, even if that's the case, we can't say that this is Master Third Generation's conspiracy, right? Uzumaki Kashina argued. She grew up listening to the deeds of Serutobi Hiruzen, and for a while she couldn't accept what Uzumaki Mito said. In her heart, Serutobi Hiruzen has always been a kind and kind old man. I don't care whether he did the above things intentionally or not. All members of the Senju clan died fighting to protect the village. Even if Hashirama were alive, he would probably make the same choice. So, I haven't caused any trouble for the little monkey. But there was one thing he did wrong. Uzumaki Mito said coldly. What's the matter? Uzumaki Kashina couldn't help but ask. It's you. He wants to control your life. Uzumaki Mito looked at Uzumaki Kashina and said. Control my life. Uzumaki Kashina was surprised. That's right. You are the last member of the Uzumaki clan and the next candidate for the Nine Tails Jinchuriki. So, since you were a child, your every move has been monitored by Anbu. Anyone who comes close to you will be thoroughly investigated. Hearing Uzumaki Mito's words, Uzumaki Kashina nodded silently. She knew all these things and even went to Serutobi Hiruzen to protest more than once. Although it has no effect. Kashina, have you ever thought that under such close surveillance, although you are not free, you are also very safe? But why were you kidnapped by the ninjas of Cloud Shinobi Village when you were a child? Uzumaki Mito suddenly asked. This. Moreover, the ninja who was able to successfully abduct you from Konoha was easily killed by a little kid of your age. Don't you think this matter is strange? Uzumaki Mito's words made Uzumaki Kashina feel like she had fallen into an ice cave. She had never thought about this question before, but now that it was raised by Uzumaki Mito, her heart was suddenly filled with questions. Yes, she is always accompanied by at least two Anbu elite teams. On the one hand, it is to monitor her, and on the other hand, it is to protect her personal safety. But even under such tight protection, she was still kidnapped. The Cloud Shinobi village ninja who kidnapped her should be at least elite Jonin. It is not an exaggeration to even think that some of the ninjas may reach the cage level threshold. But the ninjas who kidnapped her were all easily eliminated by Namikaze Minato. Minato was indeed excellent, but the strength of Minato at that time, that is, elite Chunin. How could she be saved from the ninjas of Cloud Shinobi Village? Then there is only one possibility. All of these. It's all arranged. This fool, Uzumaki Kashina's eyes were red. At this moment, she had no good feelings towards Serutobi Hiruzen at all. Seeing her like this, Tsunade raised the wine glass in his hand and drank the wine in one gulp. Kashina, calm down. Senju Takuya gently hugged the trembling Uzumaki Kashina into his arms. Wu, lying in Senju Takuya's arms, Uzumaki Kashina couldn't bear it anymore and cried out in grievance. She never thought that the person she admired the most would be such a fool. After sobbing for a while, Uzumaki Kashina finally calmed down. 
Looking up and looking at the clearly visible tear stains on Senju Takuya's clothes, Uzumaki Kashina couldn't help but blush. I seem to have wiped some snot on my nose just now. I don't know if it has been discovered. Grandma Mito, why are you telling me these things suddenly? After calming down, Uzumaki Kashina asked strangely. Tsunade and I originally thought that Minato was pretty good, with a good personality, good looks, and a lot of talent. Although some things were specially arranged by Serutobi Hiruzen, he probably had no knowledge of it. It would be suitable if you two could make a couple. Uzumaki Mito said with a smile. However, after listening to her words, Uzumaki Kashina shook her head. In any case, after knowing the truth, there is no possibility for her and Namikaze Minato. Then why did you choose to tell me the truth again today? Hearing Uzumaki Mito's words, Uzumaki Kashina became even more curious. If that's the case, wouldn't it be better to keep yourself in the dark? Why did you suddenly change your mind? Hearing Uzumaki Kashina's question, Uzumaki Mito and Tsunade smiled at each other, and then set their sights on Senju Takuya. The reason why I tell you the truth is of course because our little Takuya asked me to be his matchmaker. Compared to Namikaze Minato, of course I like little Takuya more. Kashina, will you marry little Takuya? Kashina, will you marry little Takuya? Uzumaki Mito looked at Uzumaki Kashina with a loving expression. Well, Grandma Mito, what did you say? Ask me to marry, to Takuya. Hearing Uzumaki Mito's words, Uzumaki Kashina opened her mouth in surprise. Kashina, I have liked you for a long time, please marry me. Senju Takuya held Uzumaki Kashina's shoulders with both hands, his eyes firm. I, this, um, Uzumaki Kashina stared at Senju Takuya's face blankly, opening her mouth several times, but no words came out. This sudden news is really too incredible. She never expected that Senju Takuya would suddenly propose to her. Kashina, Takuya is still waiting for your answer. Uzumaki Mito saw Uzumaki Kashina in a daze and quickly reminded her. Takuya, do you really want to marry me? Uzumaki Kashina asked in disbelief. The two of them had quarreled frequently in the past. Every time Senju Takuya said that she would never find a boyfriend with her personality. Therefore, Uzumaki Kashina couldn't believe it for a while. Of course, you know, I was deeply attracted to you from the first moment I saw you. Senju Takuya said matter-of-factly. Quote dot 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 quote. Hearing Senju Takuya's words, Uzumaki Kashina's mind flashed back to the time when she first came to Konoha village. At that time, she had just been led into the Senju clan's territory by Uzumaki Mido when she saw Senju Takuya. And the first thing Senju Takuya said to her was, Your red hair is very special, I like it very much. From now on, I will be your first friend in Konoha. Of course, the two became childhood sweethearts. Whether outside or in ninja school, Senju Takuya is always the first to stand up whenever she is bullied. However, later, Senju Takuya gave up becoming a ninja and went to do business in various parts of the ninja world, and the intersection between the two gradually became less and less. But whenever there is a festival, Senju Takuya always brings her gifts and photos from all over the ninja world. As the memories gradually emerged in her mind, Uzumaki Kashina discovered that the two of them had so many beautiful memories. Actually, Uzumaki Kashina also once thought about whether the two would get married in the future. But because of some inferiority complex, and later Senju Takuya gave up on becoming a ninja. So Uzumaki Kashina slowly hid her thoughts. Unexpectedly, the scene in my previous dream actually appeared now. Kashina, will you be my wife? Senju Takuya asked while the iron was hot. Me, I do. After calming down, Uzumaki Kashina nodded vigorously. Seeing Uzumaki Kashina nodding, Senju Takuya directly pulled her in front of him. The next second, their lips touched each other. Well, Uzumaki Kashina's eyes widened with force, and her whole body was numb as if she had been hit by a lightning-style ninjutsu. At this moment, Uzumaki Kashina felt that her thinking had stopped. I don't know how long it took before Senju Takuya let go of Uzumaki Kashina with some lingering feelings. The girl's unique sweet scent is so charming. After the passionate kiss, Senju Takuya raised his head and found Tsunade looking at him and Uzumaki Kashina with a swaying look on his face. And Uzumaki Mito also has a loving look on his face. I can't help myself, I can't help myself. 
Senju Takuya said to Tsunade and Uzumaki Mito with a smile. With his thick skin, even if others see him, there will be no psychological burden at all. Ah, Takuya, you, it's all your fault. Uzumaki Kashina was ashamed and angry. This was the first time she had done something like this, and her best friend was watching her the whole time. It's so embarrassing. Kashina, don't be shy, I've been here before. Uzumaki Mito smiled. It's just that it's not your character to be so shy. Tsunade also joked with a smile. Snort, it's all your fault. Feeling the gazes of Tsunade and Uzumaki Mito, Uzumaki Kashina lowered her head and did not dare to raise it. What's this? Kashina, have you heard a word? Senju Takuya smiled. What words? Kashina asked doubtfully. Some things, as long as you are not embarrassed, others will be embarrassed. After Senju Takuya finished speaking, he lifted Uzumaki Kashina's chin with his hand and kissed him again. Well, Uzumaki Kashina struggled for a few times but could not get away, and finally had to obey. Seeing this, Uzumaki Mito stood up silently and left the room. Tisk, 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 the world is really in decline. Tsunade saw the two of them acting as if no one was around, and left with some wine, feeling a little unhappy. After both of them left, Senju Takuya stopped his actions. How about it? Have they all left? Senju Takuya looked at Uzumaki Kashina and smiled. Snort, you're a guy who knows how to bully others. Uzumaki Kashina gave Senju Takuya a light punch. Okay, come with me. Senju Takuya pulled Uzumaki Kashina and came to the courtyard. What's wrong? Uzumaki Kashina asked a little strangely. Senju Takuya did not answer, but formed seals with his hands. Fire style how long fire technique. A huge flame dragon head rushed towards the sky. Immediately afterwards, countless gorgeous fireworks rose into the originally dark night sky. Kashina, I prepared this just for you. From today on, you are no longer alone. Like it, Senju Takuya lowered his head and asked. Looking at the fireworks in the sky, two lines of tears flowed from Uzumaki Kashina's eyes. Since the Uzumaki clan was wiped out, she has been on her own. Although she has been living with Uzumaki Mito in the Senju clan territory, Uzumaki Kashina always feels that she is somewhat incompatible with Konoha deep down. Now she understands. She lacks a home. A home that truly belongs to her. And today, Senju Takuya got her wish. Kashina. Seeing that Uzumaki Kashina didn't answer, Senju Takuya was a little strange. Hearing his words, Uzumaki Kashina came back to her senses. This time, she was not shy, but stood on tiptoes and took the initiative to kiss Senju Takuya. Why do you feel so bad? Tsunade looked at the fireworks in the sky and snorted softly. Having been single for decades, she couldn't stand this kind of scene the most. Dot dot dot, that direction is the homeland of the Senju clan. Under the night, Namikaze Minato looked at the sky, and her heart suddenly became a little empty. It seems that the most important thing has been lost. Konoha Village, Hokage Building, what's going on with Hirazan, Uzumaki Kashina and Senju Takuya? Shimura Danzo pushed open the door of Hokage's office and asked angrily. Today, he received news that was difficult for him to accept. Senju Takuya is getting married to Uzumaki Kashina. Danzo, calm down. Sarutobi Hirazan frowned in displeasure. Answer my question first, what is going on? We have spent so many years and finally weakened the influence of the Senju clan, and you actually want the next nine tails Jinchuriki to marry a member of the Senju clan. What on earth do you think? Shimura Danzo turned a blind eye to Sarutobi Hirazan's dissatisfaction, and his tone was full of hatred. Senju Takuya is just a businessman, not even a ninja. Even if I marry Uzumaki Kashina, I won't make any waves. Sarutobi Hirazan explained. Arrogant, how can we take things like this lightly? I've long been unhappy with that Senju Takuya guy. He has so many assets in his hands, and they should all be confiscated. Shimura Danzo said coldly. Snort, it's not your turn to question my decision. Remember, I'm the Hokage. Sarutobi Hirazan said unhappily. His words made the anger on Shimura Danzo's face increase even more. Not being able to become Hokage has always been a scar in his heart that will never heal. Hirazan, I have long said that I want Uzumaki Kashina to join the roots. If you don't stop this, you will regret it, Shimura Danzo said angrily. 
Master Mito came to tell me this matter in person. If you don't agree, go find Master Mito yourself. Sarutobi Hirazan snorted. He didn't want to either, but he couldn't help it. When the Uzumaki clan was wiped out a few years ago, they chose Shoot to watch. Now if he interferes with the marriage of the last member of the Uzumaki clan, it will be troublesome if Uzumaki Mito gets angry. Um, it turned out to be Mito-sama. It's okay then, just pretend I haven't been here today. Hearing what Uzumaki Mito meant, Shimura Danzo was stunned for a moment, then quickly turned and left. Having followed Senju Tobarama since childhood, he had seen Uzumaki Mito angry more than once. He knew clearly that although that person looked harmless, when he got angry, he was no ordinary terror. Even though he has now become Konoha's Hokage advisor and holds great power, he does not dare to provoke Uzumaki Mito. Well, seeing Shimura Danzo's reaction, Sarutobi Hirazan was a little disappointed. If Shimura Danzo is determined not to compromise, then he has reason to do things secretly. Unexpectedly, my old friend's head turned around today. What a shame. Dot dot dot. Senju tribe land. What? You want me to be the clan leader? Senju Takuya said with some surprise. That's right. Now you are the only man in the Senju clan. If you don't want to be the clan leader, who will be? Tsunade said matter of factly. You can do it. You are obviously the princess of the Senju clan. Senju Takuya said. I can't. I'm not that material. Tsunade decisively refused. She's not someone who wants to meddle in chores. She longs for a daily life of casinos, wine bars, home, and a three-point and one-line life. Besides, if the Senju clan is handed over to her, it won't take long for the clan's territory to be exported. Moreover, Senju Takuya will be the clan leader from now on. It is only natural to help a member of the Senju clan like myself, right? Tsunade happily made his own little calculation in his heart. No matter from which aspect, making Senju Takuya the clan leader is the best choice. Can, okay, deal, grandma means the same thing. Tsunade didn't give Senju Takuya a chance to refute. After giving the Senju clan's clan seal to Senju Takuya, he walked away. Good guy, this clan leader is really careless. However, since we want to revive the Senju clan, it is natural for us to become the clan leader. Senju Takuya smiled bitterly and put away the clan seal. Although there are only four members of the entire Senju clan now, including Uzumaki Mito and Uzumaki Kashina. But, Senju Takuya believes, in the future, the Senju clan will surely shine brightly again in his hands. Dot dot dot. As the top wealthy family that founded Konoha, the Senju clan has always attracted much attention. So, the news that Senju Takuya became the leader of the Senju clan spread throughout Konoha in an extremely short time. Both ordinary people and the patriarch of the Konoha family were very surprised by this. To know, since the second Hokage Senju Tobarama made the Senju clan give up the Senju clan name, the Senju clan has never had a clan leader. In addition, the ninjas of the Senju clan have basically disappeared recently. Everyone thought that the Senju clan would become history. Unexpectedly, the Senju clan has chosen a new clan leader. There are only two or three people left, and a clan leader has to be chosen, and it's not Tsunade. Many people scoff at this. But many people realize that this is probably a signal. The Senju clan may have to give up the decisions made by second Hokage Senju Tobarama in the future. Therefore, there is still an endless stream of people coming to visit. And as the clan heads of various families and many high-level officials from Konoha came to visit, a shocking news spread throughout Konoha. The new leader of the Senju clan, Senju Takuya, will marry Uzumaki Kashina in three months. Uzumaki Kashina's identity is known to anyone with some status. This is the next Nine Tails Jinchuriki. This also made many people more certain that the Senju clan would begin to gain power in Konoha again. Apart from this, the one who gained the most was Senju Takuya. After all, the Senju clan established Konoha's top wealthy family. Although they are now lonely, their prestige is still there. Therefore, those who came to visit brought valuable gifts. This made Tsunade so angry that he almost bit his tongue off. If she had known she could get so many good things, she would never have given up her position as clan leader to Senju Takuya. Of course, her resentment only lasted for a short while. 
When Senju Takuya appeared in front of her with 10 million tails, Tsunade's eyes narrowed as she smiled. After sending away Tsunade, Senju Takuya began to transform the Senju clan. The current land of the Senju tribe is a large estate, full of flowers, plants and trees, and the houses are all log cabins. This old-fashioned style unique to the Sengoku period is very inconsistent with Senju Takuya's aesthetics. This is the place where he will live in the future, and it must be completely transformed into the most luxurious manner in the ninja world. A man relies on his clothes and a horse relies on his saddle. In this way, you can better capture the hearts of women. As for the money spent, it is not a problem at all. With Senju Takuya's current assets, these are just a drop in the bucket. In this way, three months passed quietly amid the ongoing renovation. The transformation of the Senju tribe's land has been completed, and the day to marry Uzumaki Kashina has just arrived. Konoha Village. On the streets, there are lights and colorful lights everywhere. The shops on both sides were all hung with red silk. Colorful flags were also hung above the street. Tisk tisk tisk. As expected of the Senju clan, this has decorated the whole village. It's really impressive. What's this? You haven't seen the Senju clan's land. It has become a paradise. I went to see it, and the Senju tribe's land now feels even more luxurious than the daimyo's palace. It's incredible. I envy that woman so much. I also want to marry such a man and live in such a luxurious manner. What's unbelievable? I heard that the assets of the Senju clan leader are enough to buy half of the ninja world. This little money is nothing at all. Yes, I heard that when we parade today, we will also scatter red envelopes to passers-by. It's so inhumane. This battle is much grander than the Hokage succession ceremony. Sisters, my teeth are about to break. Why can't I meet such a man? The villagers of Konoha stood on both sides of the road, all talking excitedly. Today is the day that Senju Takuya marries Uzumaki Kashina. Under Senju Takuya's relentless propaganda, almost all the villagers in Konoha came to the streets. On the one hand, it is the reputation of the Senju clan itself. Everyone wants to see the newly appointed leader of the Senju clan. On the other hand, it was Senju Takuya who made a loud noise and gave red envelopes to everyone when he was getting married and paraded. This kind of behavior has never happened in the ninja world. Therefore, no matter men, women, old or young, everyone is full of curiosity about this wedding. Dot dot dot. Senju tribe land. Senju Takuya looked at his luxurious dress and nodded with satisfaction. He was already extremely handsome, but with the luxurious clothes, he became even more dazzling. Takuya, it's almost time. We're ready to go. Jiraiya reminded with a smile. He was forced to work as a coolie by Tsunade. According to the arrangement, today he is responsible for leading the horse for Senju Takuya. Originally Jiraiya was very reluctant. What is his identity? Disciple of the Hokage, Sanin of Konoha. His strength is even more shocking to the entire ninja world. Let him lead someone else's horse. What a joke. However, when Senju Takuya promised to build a luxurious mixed bathhouse in Konoha and gave him a supreme card that would provide him with free bathing for life, Jiraiya's attitude immediately changed 180 degrees. He just obeyed Senju Takuya's words, for fear that his job would be snatched away by others. After all, he had heard of the bathhouse opened by Senju Takuya. It is said that the building inside is magnificent, with hot springs, showers, mixed bathing for men and women. In addition to various bathing methods, guests will also be provided with high-quality food. The most important thing is that there are many female technicians in uniform inside. That massage technique is simply amazing. Unfortunately, such baths are only found in the capitals of various countries. Jiraiya has longed for it for a long time, but has never had the opportunity to experience it personally. Therefore, after knowing that Senju Takuya planned to open a bathhouse like this in Konoha village, Jiraiya simply wanted to treat him as an ancestor. After hearing Jiraiya's reminder, Senju Takuya nodded, walked out of the door and mounted a white horse. Jiraiya quickly stepped forward and grabbed the reins of the white horse. Seeing that everything was ready, Senju Takuya raised his arms and waved forward. The wedding reception team, consisting of hundreds of people, set off from the Senju tribe towards the village with drums and gongs beating. Look, it's the Senju clan's wedding team. Is this the Senju clan leader, Senju Takuya? So handsome, 
Isn't this temperament so attractive? Sister, please stop your saliva, it's all dripping on me. You women, don't act like a fool. Senju Takuya's looks are pretty good. Even the Uchiha clan, who are famous for their appearance, are far behind Senju Takuya. Especially with the blessing of this kind of scene, countless women are instantly fascinated. Let me go, there are so many people, you can't see the end at a glance. Isn't this lineup too impressive? It turns out that getting married can be done like this. It looks so festive. Look at the big sedan in the middle of the team. I have never seen such a big sedan before. This should be used to pick up the bride, it's not too cool. Seeing the wedding team approaching, all the villagers in Konoha had shocked looks on their faces. According to the custom of Konoha village, when getting married, a hall is chosen and relatives and friends send blessings. The bride and groom go through the motions, and the wedding is considered complete. Not only had they never seen such a luxurious scene, they had never even heard of it. So, this group of villagers living in Konoha, one by one, they all opened their mouths in surprise like bumpkins. However, they soon discovered something incredible. Hiss, take a look, the man leading the horse in front of you, does he look familiar? Holy shit, it's Master Jiraiya. It's really Master Jiraiya. How could he lead Senju Takuya's horse? Given Jiraiya Sama's status, even if Senju Takuya is the leader of the Senju clan, is it a bit exaggerated? At this moment, both ordinary people and family ninjas had shock ridden all over their faces. Jiraiya leads Senju Takuya's horse, which is really incredible. However, before they could recover, at Senju Takuya's signal, countless red envelopes were sprinkled into the crowd like raindrops. In an instant, everyone instinctively started grabbing the red envelopes. Seeing this scene, Senju Takuya showed a satisfied smile on his face. The effect he wanted has now been achieved perfectly. It's not that Senju Takuya likes to be high profile. But, although the Senju clan used to have a high reputation, they have been lonely for a long time now. Now that I have decided to have more concubines in the future, I must first create a reputation as a Senju clan. This wedding with Uzumaki Kashina is the best publicity tool. It is conceivable that after today, the Senju family will definitely become the focus of the people of Konoha village. The most important thing is that Sarutobi Hirazan and Shimura Danzo can only stare at this. If someone is rich and the wedding scene is grand, you can't say anything, right? In this way, sending red envelopes along the way, Senju Takuya arrived at the hotel where Uzumaki Kashina lived. Today, Uzumaki Kashina is serving in a luxurious red suit. The body is covered with gold and silver jewelry. Wear delicate and elegant makeup. The whole person looked as dazzling as a goddess. At this time, Uzumaki Kashina looked at the huge crowd of villagers following the wedding team and couldn't help but exclaimed. Takuya, why are there so many people? Uzumaki Kashina couldn't help but ask. Is this the whole village coming here? They all came to bless us. After Senju Takuya finished speaking, he raised his hand and patted it a few times. The next second, the crowd burst into cheers. Kashina, happy wedding. Have a son soon, ha 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 ha. I wish you happiness forever. Quote dot 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 quote. Various congratulations and blessings were heard endlessly, resounding throughout Konoha. Kashina, I'm here to take you home. Senju Takuya reached out to the stunned Uzumaki Kashina. Seeing this scene, Uzumaki Kashina's eyes were slightly red. As an outsider, growing up, what Uzumaki Kashina longed for most was to be recognized by everyone in Konoha. This is why she dreams of becoming a Hokage. But as she grew older, she also realized that as a member of the Uzumaki clan and the next Nine Tails Jinchuriki, there was no way she could become a Hokage. But now, Senju Takuya actually got the blessings of all the villagers in Konoha in this way. I have finally been recognized by everyone. Takuya. Uzumaki Kashina took Senju Takuya's hand, suppressed her shyness, raised her head and kissed her hard. Seeing this scene, the crowd instantly burst into cheers. After the kiss, Uzumaki Kashina got into the sedan chair that had been prepared. At this moment, she was undoubtedly the most dazzling woman in Konoha. The parade continued, and Senju Takuya led the wedding team to walk around Konoha before returning to the Senju tribe. After witnessing this grand wedding, all the women's eyes were filled with envy. Even if a daimyo gets married, I'm afraid it won't be such a big fight, right? 
Uzumaki Kashina is so happy. Complete your wedding with the blessing of the whole village. Moreover, my husband is also the leader of the wealthy Senju clan. He is handsome and extremely wealthy. Thinking of this, countless women are full of envy, jealousy and hatred towards Uzumaki Kashina. How great it would be if they could also have such a fairy husband. Senju tribe land. The originally old manor has been completely transformed after three months of renovation. There are tall and magnificent buildings everywhere. The level of luxury shocked everyone who came to the wedding. Let me go, the Senju clan's land is too luxurious now, isn't it? Even the daimyo's palace is nothing more than this. How much did it cost? I have been to the capital of the land of fire, and the daimyo's palace is not as luxurious as this one. Rich, so rich. If I had known that the Senju clan had such a strong foundation, I would have brought my daughter to propose marriage. Alas, it's too late to regret now. Villas, fountains, gardens, rockeries and water. And expensive decorations throughout the estate. The luxuriousness of the Senju clan's land made everyone take a breath. Even the top ninjas in Konoha felt ashamed looking at this luxurious manor. As expected of the Senju clan, even though they are lonely, their background is still terrifying. The young leader of the Hyuga clan, Hyuga Hiyashi, looked serious. The Hyuga clan has always regarded itself as the top wealthy family in Konoha. Hyuga Hiyashi also once thought that the Hyuga clan had surpassed the Senju clan. Unexpectedly, I realized today that I was sitting in a well watching the sky. Fugaku, you see, this is the strength of the Senju clan. Only this kind of ninja clan is qualified to be compared with our Uchiha clan. The leader of the Uchiha clan, Uchiha Chishima said to Uchiha Fugaku beside him. Father, I will definitely work harder in the future. Uchiha Fugaku said solemnly. After hearing his words, Uchiha Chiandao nodded happily. I was thinking that when Uchiha Fugaku gets married, it must be more grand than Senju Takuya's wedding. In the future, the wedding of the Uchiha clan leader must not be compared to Senju Takuya. I'm so angry. How much has Senju Takuya spent in the past few months? It's so extravagant and wasteful, it's simply hateful. Hiruzen, if you listen to me and take back the property from Senju Takuya, will we still be short of funds in Konoha now? Looking at the extremely luxurious manner, Shimura Danzo said with some pain. Snort, this is the property of the Senju clan, how can I take it? If you want it, go talk to Mido Sama yourself. Serutobi Hiruzen smiled Kaido. This time, Senju Takuya's project to transform the Senju clan land was handed over to the Serutobi clan. Now that he is making a lot of money, he has less desire to embezzle the assets of the Senju family. Hearing Serutobi Hiruzen's words, Shimura Danzo could only sigh. Let him go to Uzumaki Mido to steal the Senju clan's property. He didn't want to die so early. After everyone arrived, Senju Takuya and Uzumaki Kashina successfully completed their wedding under the witness of Uzumaki Mido. Dot dot dot. Night. After all the guests left, Senju Takuya returned to the backyard. In the room, Uzumaki Kashina, dressed in a red phoenix crown, was sitting upright by the bed. The two white and tender little hands were constantly playing with each other. Senju Takuya walked to the bed and lifted the red hijab. Uzumaki Kashina's beautiful face appeared in front of him. Takuya, Uzumaki Kashina lowered her head and shouted softly. She is a little afraid to look at Senju Takuya now. Kashina, long wait. Senju Takuya smiled. Uzumaki Kashina is so beautiful that he can't wait any longer. Takuya, turn off. Dot the lights. Feeling Senju Takuya's movements, Uzumaki Kashina said anxiously. No, I don't want to miss this beautiful scenery. After Senju Takuya finished speaking, he put Uzumaki Kashina on the bed. Everything will fall into place. Dot dot dot. Ding. Marry Uzumaki Kashina as wife, get rewards. Uzumaki Sage Body, Uzumaki Clan Sealing Technique. Following the system prompt, Senju Takuya felt a warm current surge into his body. Immediately afterwards, the chakra in his body began to surge. In just a moment, it has grown dozens of times. And he also had a lot more knowledge about the Uzumaki clan's sealing techniques in his mind. Adamantine sealing chains, Kagura's eyes of mind, seal of corpses, four elephant seals. Each powerful sealing technique was mastered skillfully by Senju Takuya in an instant. 
This feeling is so great. Feeling the changes in his body, Senju Takuya couldn't help but moan in comfort. Today's harvest is really great. Just the Uzumaki sage body has completely transformed him. Originally from the Senju clan, the chakra in Senju Takuya's body is much higher than that of ordinary people. Now, his chakra has skyrocketed dozens of times. Just looking at the amount of chakra, Senju Takuya can now be said to be a humanoid-tailed beast. What's more, Senju Takuya also obtained countless precious sealing techniques of the Uzumaki clan. Each of these sealing techniques is extremely powerful. The ghost seal can seal the enemy's soul into Shinigami's belly. Even those as powerful as Nine Tails can only be slaughtered in front of this technique. Kagura's inner eye can sense powerful detection techniques within a range of dozens of kilometers, which can be called a walking satellite map. Adamantine sealing chains, four elephant seals. Every sealing technique is extremely precious and can cause bloodshed in the ninja world. Otherwise, the Uzumaki clan would not have been jointly attacked by other ninja villages. Ding, love with his wife Uzumaki Kashina, get rewards, constitution plus one, chakra plus one. Note, each wife can only provide one reward per day. Just when Senju Takuya was immersed in the joy of receiving the reward, the system prompts sounded in his mind again. Constitution plus one, chakra plus one. This, feeling the changes in his body again, Senju Takuya had an expression of surprise on his face. He never thought that after completing with his wife, he would also receive a reward. Although the increase in constitution and chakra is not much. However, this is a reward that can be obtained every day. In the long run, when these rewards are accumulated, even the Uzumaki sage body that was just awarded is completely incomparable. Growth without limits. This means that as long as there is time, he can grow to an unimaginable level. Moreover, Senju Takuya also noticed that there was an obvious message in the system prompts. Each wife can only provide one reward per day. This means, if he had two wives, he would be rewarded twice. And so on. Hiss. Senju Takuya couldn't help but gasped. It seems that my next goal is to marry more wives. I just don't know if daily means every day or every time. Senju Takuya couldn't help but muttered. Takuya, what's wrong with you? Uzumaki Kashina looked at the changing expression on Senju Takuya's face and asked a little strangely. Kashina, thank you for your hard work in order to revive the Senju clan. In order to answer the doubts in his heart, Senju Takuya stepped forward again. With Uzumaki Kashina's exclamation, the weak boat began to rock in the wind and rain again. The next day, Senju Takuya wakes up from a deep sleep. The feeling last night was so ecstasy. Looking at the delicate face of Uzumaki Kashina next to him in the looming snow white body under the quilt, Senju Takuya unconsciously showed a smile on his face. Takuya, are you awake? I'm going to cook for you now. Uzumaki Kashina smiled sweetly, tucked her long red hair behind her ears, and prepared to get up to prepare breakfast for Senju Takuya. Uzumaki Kashina, a first-time wife, loses the innocence of a girl on her face, and her expression becomes more charming. It's still early, let's cultivate our relationship. Senju Takuya shook his head. He ignored Uzumaki Kashina and bullied her again. He wants to confirm whether he can still get yesterday's reward today. Dot dot dot. Ding. Love your wife Uzumaki Kashina and get rewards. Constitution plus one, chakra plus one. That's right. This reward can be obtained every day. Feeling the changes in his body, Senju Takuya was in a good mood. If this continues, as long as you are willing to work hard. In the future. I'm afraid it's not a problem to explode stars with one punch, right? Thinking of this, Senju Takuya looked at Uzumaki Kashina with a happy face. He really likes Uzumaki Kashina now. Takuya, I, I can't stand it anymore. How about, let's eat first? Feeling Senju Takuya's gaze, Uzumaki Kashina asked weakly. Even though she is a member of the Uzumaki clan, her physique is much stronger than ordinary people. But when facing Senju Takuya, he was still unable to fight back and was killed without any armor. Now, she felt that Senju Takuya would look at her and her body would go weak. Kashina, you take a rest first and I'll prepare the meal. What Uzumaki Kashina didn't expect was that Senju Takuya just touched her hair gently and turned around to prepare breakfast for the two of them. Kashina was tortured a lot by him, so she should take a rest first. 
quickly dress and wash up. Then start cooking. Moment. A simple and delicious meal was served in front of Uzumaki Kashina by Senju Takuya. Eat. Senju Takuya personally fed the porridge to Uzumaki Kashina's mouth. Takuya, thank you, that's so kind of you. Uzumaki Kashina sipped the food Senju Takuya cooked for her, and her heart was filled with emotion. Fool, I should be the one thanking you. Senju Takuya replied meaningfully. Uzumaki Sage Body, the extremely precious sealing technique of the Uzumaki clan. There are also physical and chakra rewards that you can get every day. He is the one who should be thanked. Soon, the two of them finished their breakfast while chatting. After putting away the dishes, Senju Takuya came to a huge lake in the Senju tribe. Fire Style Great Fireball Technique Boom! As Senju Takuya formed a seal with his hands, a giant great fireball with a diameter of tens of meters rose into the sky. The scorching temperature twisted the surrounding air. Countless amounts of water vapor evaporated, forming a huge mist. Wind Style Great Breakthrough Senju Takuya formed the seal again, and a strong wind blew. Moment. Then the water mist just created by fire style was blown away completely. Water style grand falls technique. Senju Takuya once again formed a seal with his hands, and the chakra in his body was quickly mobilized. The next second, a waterfall tens of meters high appeared in front of Senju Takuya. Boom. The waterfall crashed down with a large amount of water, causing huge waves on the calm lake. Water drops from the sky kept falling, like a heavy rain. After a long time, everything became calm again. Ha! Huh. After performing several more large-scale ninjas in succession, Senju Takuya breathed a sigh of relief. The blessing of Uzumaki Sage Body is really terrifying. Even if he continuously releases so many ninjutsu that require a lot of chakra, he still hasn't consumed even half of the chakra in his body. Moreover, the chakra in his body is recovering at an astonishing speed. This feeling is so wonderful. After experimenting with ninjutsu, Senju Takuya began to practice taijutsu for a while. As expected, his physical fitness has improved significantly compared to chakras. Regardless of speed, strength, endurance, or resilience, they are many times stronger than before. It can be said that even with only physical skills, ordinary elite Jonin cannot be his opponent. Coupled with the powerful sealing techniques he mastered. Even if he is a cage-level expert, he is sure to fight. And, it won't be long, even cage-level experts will become like ants in front of him. This kind of improvement is really terrifying. You know, not long ago, his strength was at the level of elite chunin. Dot dot dot. For several days, Senju Takuya has been practicing in the clan. Although the system can reward him with powerful powers, he has to fully digest these powers himself. Otherwise, it will be like Otsutsuki Kegaya. Sora has a lot of power, but he can't use it at all. And after this period of system rewards, his physique and chakra have increased significantly. While Senju Takuya was practicing, he suddenly felt someone walking towards him. Um, is it Kashina? After obtaining the Uzumaki Sage Body and mastering Kagura's Heart Eye, Senju Takuya's perception has become several times stronger. Therefore, the presence of Uzumaki Kashina was felt immediately. Takuya, I'm here to bring you lunch. Uzumaki Kashina shouted and came to Senju Takuya with a lunchbox made by herself. Takuya, I didn't expect you to be so strong. Looking at the traces left by the lake, Uzumaki Kashina couldn't help but be surprised. Just by looking at the mess in front of him, it is obvious that Senju Takuya's strength is extraordinary. Even she would find it difficult to cause such widespread destruction. Moreover, after training all morning, Senju Takuya still looks energetic. Haha, <laughs> although I have given up on becoming a ninja, I have never stopped practicing this kind of thing. Senju Takuya smiled. In order to prevent being sent to the most dangerous battlefield and dying in an unknown way, Senju Takuya decisively gave up becoming a ninja when he was about to graduate from the ninja school. But, although he gave up becoming a ninja, his training never failed. After all, in this ninja world, strength is the most important thing. Takuya, thank you for your hard work in order to keep the Senju clan alive. Looking at Senju Takuya devouring it, Uzumaki Kashina said distressedly. Since getting married, Senju Takuya has been coming here every day to practice until late at night. The level of effort made her feel heartbroken when she saw it. 
and, she now knows the real reason Senju Takuya gave up on becoming a ninja. It is to preserve the last bloodline of the Senju family so that the Senju family can continue to pass on. Although he is the last man of the Senju clan, he has to give up his identity as a ninja. Because of this kind of thing, Takuya was often talked about behind his back. Even, there are also some people who are secretly encouraging Senju Takuya to give up the Senju surname. I don't know how much pressure Senju Takuya has endured to be able to persist until now. Thinking of this, Uzumaki Kashina felt angry. All this was caused by those Serutobi Hiruzen and Shimura Danzo. Sooner or later, she will have to settle the score with these old guys. It's okay, Kashina. It's all about reviving the Senju clan. If you feel sorry for me, just hurry up and give me more children. Senju Takuya smiled, snort, that's what I say, but I can't do this, this kind of thing myself. Besides, if you want to revive Senju, how many babies will you have to have? Uzumaki Kashina muttered quietly. The Senju clan was once so glorious, with a population larger than the current Uchiha clan. Can she survive if she is left to live alone? Takuya, do you want to get more wives? Uzumaki Kashina suddenly had an idea flash in her mind and asked. Ah, Senju Takuya was stunned. This was indeed his inner plan, but he planned to mention it to Kashina in a few days. Unexpectedly, Kashina brought it up first now. Takuya, think about it, if you want to revive Senju, you must have more Senju people. As far as I'm concerned, this kind of thing is simply impossible to achieve. So, you must marry many, many wives so that the Senju clan can be revived again. Uzumaki Kashina's eyes became more and more determined as she spoke. But, Kashina, wouldn't you be angry in that case? Senju Takuya looked at Uzumaki Kashina and said, who do you think I am? In order to revive the Senju clan, what does this sacrifice mean? On your side, it will be very hard for you to marry so many wives in the future. Uzumaki Kashina said gently, In the ninja world, although most ninjas are monogamous. But for ordinary people who are not ninjas, having three wives and four concubines is the norm. Therefore, Uzumaki Kashina is not exclusive about this kind of thing. Moreover, the destruction of the Uzumaki clan's village has always been a shadow in Uzumaki Kashina's heart. After marrying Senju Takuya, she completely regarded herself as a member of the Senju clan. No matter what, she doesn't want the Senju clan to disappear like the Uzumaki clan. That's why she took the initiative to make such a request. Senju Takuya put the finished lunch aside and hugged Uzumaki Kashina. But, Takuya, you are the leader of the Senju clan, please sacrifice yourself for the sake of the Senju clan. Seeing what Senju Takuya wanted to say, Uzumaki Kashina interrupted. This, oh, okay, I agree. Under the pressure of Uzumaki Kashina, Senju Takuya could only, reluctantly, agree to the other party's request. Takuya, that's so kind of you. Seeing Senju Takuya agree, Uzumaki Kashina breathed a sigh of relief and a smile appeared on his face again. Seeing her appearance, Senju Takuya couldn't help but sigh. Originally, he was still worried about how to convince Uzumaki Kashina, but he didn't expect Kashina to conquer him by himself. Can only say, invisible imagination is the most deadly. Okay, Kashina, let's put this matter aside for a while. Now let's take a rest. Senju Takuya looked at Uzumaki Kashina with a smirk. He got up early this morning to practice, but he hasn't received any rewards from the system yet. Ah, ar, here, Uzumaki Kashina asked with a red face. We have to seize every second for Senju. Senju Takuya pressed Uzumaki Kashina to the ground with a smirk on his face. Ding, love with his wife Uzumaki Kashina, get rewards, constitution plus one, chakra plus one. Chapter 11, Konoha Village, a high-end dessert shop. This, this, and this. Except for these three, have a copy of all the rest. Uzumaki Kashina said carelessly, Okay, Madam Patriarch, please wait a moment. After the clerk responded respectfully, he turned around to prepare desserts. Kashina, why do you want so much? Very expensive. Uchiha Makoto lay in Uzumaki Kashina's ear and whispered, It's okay, this is my family's property. It's free of charge. You eat hard today, and I will pay for all the expenses. Uzumaki Kashina said with a smile, Now, Senju Takuya has handed over all of Konoha's properties to her. 
It was precisely because of this that Uzumaki Kashina knew for the first time how rich her husband was. Even if she keeps buying and buying, I'm afraid she won't be able to spend all the money she earns from her property in a lifetime. Therefore, after finally being able to go shopping with her best friend, Uzumaki Kashina will naturally not be stingy. Kashina, I really envy you. Be able to marry the man you like. Seeing the smile on Uzumaki Kashina's face, Uchiha Makoto said with emotion. It must be very happy to marry a man like Senju Takuya, right? This can be seen from Uzumaki Kashina's expression. Kashina is much more cheerful now than before. Makoto, why do you feel like you have something on your mind? Uzumaki Kashina heard Uchiha Makoto's words and asked in confusion. Sigh, recently my family wanted to talk about a marriage for me. Uchiha Makoto said depressedly. Recently, someone at home suddenly told him that Uchiha Chishima wanted to marry his son, Uchiha Fugaku. The other party is the undisputed leader of the Uchiha clan. So, although Uchiha Makoto was a little reluctant, he had no choice but to accept it. At this moment, seeing Uzumaki Kashina's happy look and thinking about herself, she couldn't help but feel a little disappointed. Hateful, another one like that. After hearing what Uchiha Makoto said, Uzumaki Kashina snorted coldly. Uchiha Makoto's current experience is so similar to her back then. No, she must not let her best friend regret it for the rest of her life. Kashina, keep your voice down so that no one can hear you. Uchiha Makoto advised in a low voice. Seeing her weak look, Uzumaki Kashina suddenly had an idea in her mind. Makoto, what do you think of Takuya? Ah, Takuya is very good, handsome and funny, and he is so rich. Uchiha Makoto said slowly. Back then, when they were in ninja school, she and Uzumaki Kashina had a quarrel because they both regarded Senju Takuya as their future husband. However, after Senju Takuya dropped out of the ninja school, the contact between the two was broken. Makoto, if you were asked to choose between Takuya and Uchiha Fugaku, who would you choose? Uzumaki Kashina asked. Kashina, Takuya and I have lost contact for a long time. Uchiha Makoto quickly explained. She now realizes that what she just said was a bit too ambiguous. Really, it is too rude to comment on the husband of another person like this in front of one's best friend. In particular, Uzumaki Kashina knew everything about her past love for Senju Takuya. When he thought of this, Uchiha Makoto's face immediately turned red. Now she wished she could find a crack in the ground and crawl in. It's so embarrassing. No, just speak your mind. I don't mean anything else. Seeing Uchiha Makoto's embarrassed look, Uzumaki Kashina could only explain helplessly. Well, of course Takuya. How about it? Are you so proud of having married such a good husband? Uchiha Makoto is angry with Kaido. She now feels that Uzumaki Kashina is deliberately showing off in front of her. The joys and sorrows of people are really different from each other. I am obviously still worried about marriage, but my best friend has already found her happiness. Hee <laughs> hee. Don't worry, since you don't want to marry Uchiha Fugaku, then leave this matter to me. In the future, there will be times when you are proud. Uzumaki Kashina said mysteriously. She just suddenly thought, since she wants to revive the Senju clan, who should she marry? My best friend has a gentle personality and is beautiful. And there is also the blood of the Uchiha clan. If she could be married into the family, wouldn't the Senju clan also have the blood of the Uchiha clan? Thinking of this, Uzumaki Kashina couldn't help but feel excited. No, this matter must be discussed with Takuya immediately. Makoto, it suddenly occurred to me that I have something else to do. You can eat first, and I will leave first. I will give you a surprise next time we meet. After Uzumaki Kashina finished speaking, she left in a hurry. Uchiha Makoto was left confused. What happened to my best friend today? Kashina, are you sure you want to do this? Senju Takuya asked again. That's right, only in this way can Senju be revived in the shortest possible time. Uzumaki Kashina said with firm eyes. After marrying Senju Takuya, her biggest goal is not to become a Hokage. But revive the Senju clan. Compared with the Fuxing family, the sacrifice she made is nothing at all. In that case, let's start implementing the plan. Seeing Uzumaki Kashina so determined, Senju Takuya no longer hesitated. He hired a group of villagers and handed them pre-printed leaflets. 
A group of people were responsible for posting these flyers on various streets in Konoha. Another group of people were responsible for distributing these leaflets to villagers in the streets and alleys of Konoha. After doing all this, Uzumaki Kashina's face showed a smile again. With these flyers, I believe it won't be long before the news of the Senju clan openly taking concubines will spread throughout Konoha. With the heritage of the Senju family and the charm of her husband, Uzumaki Kashina believes that there will be countless women who want to marry into their family. By the way, Takuya, I went shopping with Makoto today. Uzumaki Kashina said suddenly. Yeah, Senju Takuya's eyes lit up after hearing Uzumaki Kashina's words. Yes, I almost forgot about Uchiha Makoto. Uchiha Makoto's appearance is not inferior to Kashina's, but her personality is completely opposite to Kashina's. She is the kind of person who obeys her husband's words and is very docile. How could I forget her? No, we have to find a chance to marry Uchiha Makoto back. Snort, I knew you couldn't forget Makoto. Uzumaki Kashina couldn't help but snorted when she saw Senju Takuya's expression. Fortunately, I have been thinking about the candidate for his wife. Unexpectedly, she may have already had the idea of his best friend in mind. That, Kashina, this is all about reviving Senju. Makoto, like you, has a strong bloodline. You are of the Uzumaki clan, and she is of the Uchiha clan. With the blood of the Uchiha clan, the children she gives birth to will definitely be very talented. Senju Takuya said righteously. Yeah, that's what I thought too. It just so happens that Makoto has been struggling recently because he doesn't want to marry that guy Uchiha Fugaku. You think of a way to propose marriage to the Uchiha clan and try to get Makoto back as soon as possible. Seeing Senju Takuya's serious look, Uzumaki Kashina also said seriously. Um, this requires careful planning. The relationship between the Senju clan and the Uchiha clan was not very harmonious to begin with. In addition, Uchiha Makoto's marriage partner is Uchiha Fugaku. If you want to cut off your beard, I'm afraid it's not that simple. By the way, please think about Makoto's side first, and don't stop publicly choosing your wife. We must redouble our efforts to revive Senju. Uzumaki Kashina continued. She also knew that the matter of Uchiha Makoto was not that easy to solve. Therefore, before that, the selection of a wife must also be carried out at the same time. Kashina, you're right. However, you missed one thing. Senju Takuya looked at Uzumaki Kashina and said calmly. Missed something. What's the matter? Uzumaki Kashina asked a little strangely. While choosing a wife, you must also help me conceive a child as soon as possible. You are my first wife, so you have to live up to your expectations. After Senju Takuya finished speaking, he took Uzumaki Kashina into his arms. Well, dot you bad guy, big pervert, well, dot 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 dot. Konoha village, next to a bulletin board on Kwanju Street. In order to revive the Senju clan, after careful consideration by the clan leader and the clan leader's wife, it has been decided to implement the Senju revival plan. As long as they are young, healthy, and outstanding women, they can apply for jobs in the Senju tribe. The selected woman will become the wife of Senju Takuya, the leader of the Senju clan, and will have the rights of the wife of the Senju clan leader. Not only can you get rich monetary rewards, but you can also learn the ninjutsu scrolls within the Senju clan. A woman who marries into the Senju clan, Jonan or below, will receive a childcare fund of 5 million tails per year. Jonan and above, a childcare fund of 1 million tails per year, with no upper limit. If you give birth to a descendant of the Senju clan, you will have unconditional access to the various ninjutsu and training methods that the Senju clan has accumulated over thousands of years. Various industries under the name of the Senju family can be consumed unconditionally. There are also countless benefits waiting for you to unlock. Requirement. Single, healthy, unmarried and clean woman. Strength. Chunin or above. Note, this announcement is valid for a long time and has no quantity limit. Seeing the notice that had just been posted, the villagers in Konoha were all excited. They still remember the recent wedding of Senju Takuya and Uzumaki Kashina. Unexpectedly, within a few days, the other party would marry again. Moreover, we still chose this open recruitment method. I've lived for so long and have experienced all kinds of storms, but this is the first time I've seen this kind of public selection of wives. Is this true or false? 
Could it be that someone was playing a prank? Hi, the treatment is so good, even I, a man, have the urge to give it a try. Isn't that right? As long as you are selected, you can become a rich lady in no time. Reviving Senju. Senju Takuya is really a ruthless person. He can come up with such a method. I'm convinced. Ah, I just got married a month ago, and this happened to me. I'm so angry. 10 million tales of childcare fund a year. Darling, this is worth the reward for 10s level missions. Not to mention anything else, just because of the appearance of the Senju clan leader, I have to do it again this time. Uori, this announcement from Senju Takuya is still very attractive. For ordinary Konoha villagers, if they want to improve their strength, they need to perform various dangerous tasks. And after experiencing a narrow escape, the reward you get can often only be exchanged for some of the lowest C-level ninjutsu. For them, the conditions offered by Senju Takuya are too tempting. You know, the most common D-level mission, the reward is less than 10,000 tails. Even for C-level tasks, the average cost is only about 50,000 tails. Many ordinary people may not earn 10 million tails in their lifetime. And, putting aside money and other benefits, just the unconditional reading of various ninjutsu scrolls and training methods accumulated by the Senju clan over thousands of years is enough to drive countless ninjas crazy. No matter when, things related to spiritual practice are the most precious. For a time, countless people rushed towards the Senju tribe. Dot dot dot, Senju tribe land in the most central luxury villa. Boom, with a loud bang, the extremely gorgeous door was kicked in half by Tsunade. Senju Takuya, come out. Tsunade shouted angrily. What's wrong? Looking at the furious Tsunade, Senju Takuya asked strangely. Snort, you. Tsunade snorted coldly, raised his fist and hit Senju Takuya. The powerful fist wind even made a sound of breaking through the air. Snap. However, what Tsunade didn't expect was. Her fist was actually blocked by Senju Takuya. You. Tsunade looked at Senju Takuya with some surprise. Although she didn't use all her strength in the punch just now, it was not something that ordinary people could block. Tsunade knows Senju Takuya's strength. At best, he was just an elite chunin. How could he block his own attack so lightly? At this moment, Uzumaki Kashina also arrived. Tsunade nay, what are you doing? Uzumaki Kashina stood in front of Senju Takuya and looked at Tsunade displeased. Kashina, is this guy bullying you? You tell me, I will make the decision for you. Tsunade asked, looking at Uzumaki Kashina. No. Why do you ask? Uzumaki Kashina looked at Tsunade and asked with a puzzled expression. Not yet, you have only been married for a few days, and this fool is thinking about marrying another one. I have never seen anything more outrageous than choosing a wife publicly. Kashina, get out of the way, I have to teach this fool a lesson today. Tsunade said angrily. Today, she originally wanted to go to the pub for a drink. Unexpectedly, as soon as they left the Senju clan's land, they found that the Senju clan's land was crowded with people. This shocked Tsunade, thinking something terrible had happened to Konoha. But after Tsunade asked several villagers, he learned the cause and effect of the incident. The reason why there are so many people blocking the door of the Senju tribe is because of this Senju Takuya. He actually wanted to choose his wife publicly. Kashina, get out of the way, I have to teach this Parian a lesson today. Tsunade looked at Uzumaki Kashina's airway blocking Senju Takuya. Public selection of wives, don't be too outrageous. Unexpectedly, after hearing her words, Uzumaki Kashina showed a helpless smile on her face. Tsunade sister, you wrongly blamed Takuya. Did you blame him wrongly? Tsunade looked at Uzumaki Kashina with confusion on his face. Yes, I came up with this method of choosing a wife publicly. Uzumaki Kashina smiled. Ah, did you come up with it? No. What the hell is going on? After hearing Uzumaki Kashina's words, Tsunade became more and more puzzled. The matter of choosing a wife publicly. Did Kashina come up with it? After Uzumaki Kashina saw Tsunade calm down, she pulled Tsunade to sit down in the yard. Sister Tsunade, you don't know that since Takuya became the leader of the Senju clan, he has been practicing hard until late at night every day. The purpose is to restore the Senju clan to its former glory. But, no matter how powerful Takuya is, he is only one person. 
Whether a family is prosperous or not, the most important thing is its population. Speaking of this, Uzumaki Kashina touched her belly. But if I am alone, how many babies can I have even if I give birth to one baby a year? So, in order to add more people to the Senju clan, I came up with this plan. Takuya was unwilling at first. After hearing Uzumaki Kashina's words, Tsunade fell silent. As the princess of the Senju clan, she saw with her own eyes the decline of the Senju clan from the most powerful family in the ninja world to what it is now. In her heart, she hopes more than anyone else that the Senju clan can regain its former prosperity. However, after much thought, she could not think of any good solution, and in the end she could only bury this idea in her heart. Unexpectedly, Senju Takuya and Uzumaki Kashina would come up with such a way to revive Senju. Tsunade ne, are you okay? Seeing Tsunade's silence, Uzumaki Kashina asked worriedly. Fine, it's just that this thing, well, it sounds so outrageous. Tsunade said slowly, there is no other way. I don't want the Senju clan to disappear from the ninja world and become the history of the ninja world like the Uzumaki clan. Uzumaki Kashina said with red eyes. Having lost her own family since she was a child, she is so eager to have a family of her own. I see, since this is the decision of the two of you, I won't say anything more. After knowing the truth of the matter, Tsunade also smiled. She didn't know why, but she always felt that this plan, which sounded so outrageous, was indeed a good idea. With Senju Takuya's assets and the other party's current status as the leader of the Senju clan. Marrying dozens of wives is a simple matter. Even if one wife gives birth to two or three children, the number of Senju clan members in the next generation can reach hundreds. When we reach the third generation, won't we be able to become a great ninja clan with thousands of people again? Thinking of this, Tsunade's face showed a hint of joy. Senju clan, there's help. By the way, I'm warning you, even if you marry many wives in the future, you can't bully Kashina. After thinking about it, Tsunade warned Senju Takuya. This is regarded as acquiescence to this matter. Do not worry. This is all about assuming the responsibility of my clan leader and reviving Senju. Otherwise, Kashina alone is enough for me. Senju Takuya said seriously. Hearing his words, Uzumaki Kashina showed a look of happiness on her face. My man is simply the most perfect person in the world. Cut, you get a good deal and still act nice. Tsunade sneered at Senju Takuya's remarks. She is not an innocent little woman like Uzumaki Kashina. She didn't believe a word Senju Takuya said. Okay, Tsunade ne. If you are afraid that Takuya will bully me, I have a way. Uzumaki Kashina pulled Tsunade and smiled. Any solution? Tsunade asked strangely. Sister Tsunade, why don't you also marry Takuya? With you watching him, he will definitely not dare to bully me. Uzumaki Kashina said excitedly. Ah, Kashina, what are you talking about? Mary, marry Takuya. No, this, absolutely not possible. When Tsunade heard Uzumaki Kashina's words, he stood up in shock. Even though she had experienced countless storms and life and death moments, she was still almost scared to death after hearing the speech of a tiger like Uzumaki Kashina. What's this, Sister Tsunade? Think about it, although we can also give birth to children for Takuya, we are still foreigners after all. But you are different, both you and Takuya have the purest blood of Senju. The baby you two have will be the purest descendant of Senju. Besides, do you plan to never marry for the rest of your life? Don't let the good news go to outsiders. Instead of taking advantage of others, it is better to take advantage of our family, Takuya. Uzumaki Kashina kept talking. Her expression looked like a scammer setting up a stall on the street. Even Senju Takuya couldn't help but give Kashina a thumbs up. She is indeed my wife. I really found a treasure. If he could really trick Tsunade into marrying him, wouldn't he be soaring into the sky? The purest descendant of Senju. Tsunade murmured softly, and an inexplicable longing arose in his heart. However, Tsunade reacted immediately. No, marry Takuya or something. We are so different, Tsunade retorted with a red face. In the past, due to the age gap between the two, she had never thought about these things. Now being brought up by Uzumaki Kashina, Tsunade suddenly felt that he didn't dare to look at Senju Takuya's handsome face. Sister Tsunade, let me tell you. If you marry our Takuya, 
you will have more money than you can spend in the future. If someone marries someone, we can give them a childcare fund of 10 million yuan a year. You are one of our own, let alone 10 million, what does it matter even if it is 100 million? Uzumaki Kashina strikes while the railroad is hot. As a sister who has known Tsunade for more than 10 years, she knows very well what Tsunade's weaknesses are. Money is too much to spend. Tsunade couldn't help but swallow. No, I can still win endless money on my own. Tsunade shook his head forcefully and ran away without saying a word. She was afraid that if she continued to stay, she would be persuaded by Uzumaki Kashina. After all, good looks, financial resources, personality. In every aspect, Senju Takuya is impeccable. Seeing Tsunade running away, Senju Takuya and Uzumaki Kashina looked at each other and smiled. Husband and wife are of the same mind, and their power breaks through metal. Tsunade will never escape the hands of these two. Konoha Village, Hokage Building, Hokage Office. Lord Hokage, are you looking for me? It's Takuya. Hearing the sound, Serutobi Hirazan looked up from the pile of documents, with a kind smile on his face. Takuya, how is business lately? Serutobi Hirazan asked, taking a drag on his cigarette. Well enough, that's about it, Senju Takuya said perfunctorily. Could this old guy be eyeing his own assets again? Yeah, that's fine. By the way, I heard that you came up with some kind of wife selection plan, which has caused quite a stir in the village recently. What's going on? Serutobi Hirazan asked with a smile. Well, that's what it means, Lord Hokage. As you know, I am now the leader of the Senju clan. I am the only man left in the Senju clan now. When I think about the prosperous Senju in those days, I feel worried. So, in order to increase the population of the Senju clan as quickly as possible, I made this difficult decision after careful consideration. To revive Senju, I can only sacrifice myself. Senju Takuya spoke with righteousness. That expression stunned Serutobi Hirazan. By the way, this is a flyer. If Master Hokage is interested, you can also recommend it. After Senju Takuya finished speaking, he handed a leaflet to Serutobi Hirazan. Hee hee, hee hee, I will help keep an eye on it. Serutobi Hirazan looked at the flyer in his hand and smiled awkwardly. But in his heart, he sneered at Senju Takuya's words. Good guy, are you willing to sacrifice to revive Senju? Is having too many wives called sacrifice? Such a, sacrifice? He also wants to, sacrifice, okay. It's true that a full man doesn't know that a hungry man is hungry. He is so greedy that he can only use the telescope technique to secretly look at the women's bathhouse every day. Wrong, I digress. Ahem, that, Takuya. I know you have a heart to revive Senju, but isn't there something wrong with this? Second Hokage originally encouraged the Senju people to voluntarily give up the Senju surname and integrate into Konoha. Is your current behavior somewhat contrary to Second Hokage's original decision? Serutobi Hirazan asked pretending to be nonchalant. After more than 10 years of suppression, he finally made the Senju clan what it is now. Naturally, he didn't want the Senju clan to prosper again. Although, this, open wife selection, plan sounds so unreliable. Lord Hokage, you are wrong. Have you ever thought about how many members of the Senju clan there were when Second Hokage made this decision? But how many members of the Senju clan are there now? I think when Second Hokage made that decision, they probably didn't expect that in just a dozen years, the Senju clan would be on the verge of extinction, right? Senju Takuya said calmly. Some words don't need to be said clearly, he believes that Serutobi Hirazan can understand his subtext. Ha ha, there is nothing we can do about it. The members of the Senju clan are all good. Without their sacrifices, Konoha would not have been able to win the first two ninja wars. Serutobi Hirazan pretended to be confused. Speaking of which, the Senju clan has made so many contributions, Master Hokage should give us some rewards, right? In the past, it was okay if the Senju clan didn't have a clan leader. Now that I have become the clan leader, I think I should still strive for the rewards I should receive. Senju Takuya changed the subject. This. Serutobi Hirazan was speechless for a moment. If we really want to reward according to merit, the compensation that should be given to the Senju family would be an astronomical figure. All right, Hokage-sama, let's forget about the past. Master Mito also agreed to the matter of choosing a wife. 
Hokage-sama, do you have anything else to ask? Senju Takuya didn't really intend to ask for the so-called compensation. He said this just to make Serutobi Hiruzen back down on the issue of choosing a wife. Since Mito-sama has agreed, I won't say anything more. You go back first. After hearing what Serutobi Hiruzen said, Senju Takuya nodded lightly, turned and left the Hokage office. He had already expected this incident today. Serutobi Hiruzen and Shimura Danzo, among others, have always been eyeing the assets in his hands. He even secretly sent people to threaten him more than once. However, because of the existence of Uzumaki Mito, and Senju Takuya almost never goes to dangerous places. Therefore, the two of them never found any opportunities. Snort, it won't be long before I let you taste what it feels like to have all your clan members die one by one. Walking out of the Hokage building, Senju Takuya snorted. That day is not far away. Dot dot dot. Danzo, you heard everything, right? After Senju Takuya left, Shimura Danzo stepped out of the shadows. Snort, this kid is still as difficult as before. Shimura Danzo snorted coldly. They didn't know how many times they plotted against Senju Takuya, but every time they were able to be easily resolved by the opponent. This feeling is so unpleasant. Sigh, Takuya, this guy is so smart. Every time I talk to him about something, he always leads me by the nose. Serutobi Hiruzen took a puff of cigarette and sighed. Now what? Shimura Danzo asked, looking at Serutobi Hiruzen who was smoking a cigarette. Let him choose his wife. If someone is rich and wants to have more wives, we have no reason to object, right? Serutobi Hiruzen said calmly. Aren't you afraid that the Senju clan will really prosper in his hands? With this kid's mind, the Senju clan may really be able to revive under his hands. Shimura Danzo said viciously, Don't worry, he doesn't have that much time. The last time Mito Sama came, his life force was almost exhausted. In two years at most, Mito Sama may have to go to the Pure Land. Without Mito Sama's protection, Senju Takuya. Serutobi Hiruzen said, stood up and walked to the window, casually raised his hand and killed a small flying insect above. Now, the power of the entire Konoha is in his hands. No matter who wants to snatch the rights from his hands, he will definitely give them a thunderous blow. Hiruzen, I should be the one to be the Hokage. You, this guy, are more suitable for, roots, than me. Shimura Danzo said with a slight snort. Hearing his words, Serutobi Hiruzen quickly waved his hand and signaled Shimura Danzo to go out. Here we go again. This guy, every time he can't say a few words, he brings up the topic of, Hokage. I'm really convinced. His ears felt calluses listening to it. Snort, Hiruzen, sooner or later, I will become a Hokage. Seeing Serutobi Hiruzen's impatient look, Shimura Danzo snorted angrily. You don't even want to hear what he has to say now, do you? Good, if anything happens in the future, don't come to him to take the blame. Takuya, here is the information about the recent Kunoichi who wants to marry into the Senju clan. Can you take a look? As soon as Senju Takuya returned to the clan, Uzumaki Kashina couldn't wait to bring a bunch of information to Senju Takuya. Kashina, there's no need to be in such a hurry. Senju Takuya said casually, how can you not be anxious? Reviving the Senju clan, of course, the sooner the better. The sooner you marry a wife, the sooner you can have children. Uzumaki Kashina looked at Senju Takuya and said with a look of hatred. She is impatient and must do whatever she decides to do immediately. Otherwise, she felt uncomfortable. Okay, let me review. Seeing Uzumaki Kashina's appearance, Senju Takuya reflected on himself. Really, Kashina was actually more concerned about marrying herself than she was. No, you have to pay attention to it in the future. After all, in the ninja world, but there are too many beauties he wants to include in his harem. Thinking of this, Senju Takuya took the information from Uzumaki Kashina. Uzumaki Kashina has already preliminarily reviewed it, so there is not a lot of information, probably only a few dozen. Above them were all sweet-looking and powerful kunoichi. Senju Takuya flipped through the information casually. Suddenly, there was a woman's profile that caught his attention. Yakushi Nanoyu. Seeing this familiar name, relevant information emerged in Senju Takuya's mind. 
the director of the Konoha Orphanage, the woman who raised Kabuto, the dream ambassador of the ninja world. Shimura Danzo joined the Roots organization so that he could continue to provide funds for the orphanage. At last, because he lost the trust of Shimura Danzo, he was designed by Shimura Danzo. Finally killed by Kabuto. Takuya, what's wrong? Uzumaki Kashina saw Senju Takuya fell silent and asked. Oh, nothing. Senju Takuya came back to his senses and continued to read the information about Yakushi Nanoyu in his hand. Yakushi has a gentle personality and is very caring. Since becoming a ninja, her mission rewards have basically been donated to the orphanage unconditionally. Strength, probably at the level of elite chunin. Uzumaki Kashina saw that Senju Takuya seemed to be very interested in Yakushi Nuno, so she explained. She is also very satisfied with Yakushi Nanoyu. Otherwise, nor will he hand over the information to Senju Takuya. It's her. Can you make an appointment for me? No problem. Uzumaki Kashina agreed immediately. Looking at Uzumaki Kashina's leaving back, Senju Takuya sighed. Senju Takuya still admires this tragic character in the original work. Now that I have this opportunity, I would like to help. And, I will definitely have many children in the future, and it is inevitable that there will be places that I cannot take care of. Yakushi Nanoyu, who is qualified to be the director of an orphanage, must also be able to take good care of his own children. Dot dot dot, Konoha Orphanage, Sister Yakushi, when can you come again? Yes, during your absence, we will be hungry every day. Sister Yakushi, would you like to play some games with us? A gentle-looking woman with short brown hair and glasses was surrounded by orphans from an orphanage. Looking at the children surrounding her, her face was filled with a gentle smile. I will visit you often in the future. Sister, I have something else to do today, so I won't play games with you. Yakushi Nunoyu gently greeted the children one by one, then turned and left. After walking out of the orphanage, the smile on Yakushi's face slowly disappeared. Recent, the expenses of the orphanage are increasing. Her little remuneration for the mission was simply a drop in the bucket. Even the director of the orphanage complained to her many times, saying that the orphanage could no longer survive. In order to get more funds from the village, she originally wanted to talk to consultant Shimura Danzo who was in charge of this area. Although she had some understanding of Shimura Danzo's reputation, she had no better way. However, while walking halfway, Yakushi accidentally saw the Senju clan's heavy money to choose a wife plan. The benefits written above made her almost bite off her tongue. As long as they are selected, even the weakest chunin can receive a childcare fund of 5 million tails a year. By some strange coincidence, Yakushi submitted his information. What she didn't expect was that she received an invitation from the Senju clan the next day. Today, she is going to the Senju clan for her final interview. With an anxious mood, Yakushi came to the Senju clan's territory. Looking at the magnificent gate, Yakushi's heart jumped wildly. Just a gate, you can see the strong strength of the Senju clan. Under the recommendation of the servant, Yakushi came to Senju Takuya. Takuya-sama, hello. I am Yakushi no no, Yakushi said with a trembling voice. Along the way, she saw with her own eyes the prosperity of the Senju tribe. Beautiful scenery, luxurious architecture. Everything is even more surprising than outside rumors. This also made Yakushi Nanoyu even more uneasy. Although she looks a bit pretty, in the end she is just an ordinary ninja. Can the Senju clan leader really like her? Don't be nervous, just do it. Senju Takuya smiled lightly. Yakushi is very beautiful and has a delicate temperament. It suits him very well. And, after a day of investigation, he already knew. The current Yakushi Nanoyu has not yet become the director of the orphanage, nor has he had any contact with Shimura Danzo. Even if you have a harem, you don't have to worry about anything at all. Takuya-sama, are the announcements you posted true? As long as you are selected, you can get five million tails. After calming down his mood, Yakushi asked. Certainly. As you can see, our Senju clan is not short of money. Senju Takuya smiled. Hearing his words, Yakushi nodded in agreement. Being able to build the clan's land more luxuriously than the daimyo's palace would indeed not be short of money. Tell me, why did you choose to marry into the Senju clan? Senju Takuya asked curiously. Recently, 
the orphanage has had some funding problems. Yakushi Nanoyu did not hide anything and expressed all his thoughts. After listening to her words, Senju Takuya nodded with satisfaction. This is basically consistent with what he investigated. In this case, let's get married as soon as possible. Senju Takuya gets straight to the point. Ah. Hearing Senju Takuya's words, Yakushi opened his mouth in surprise. She had been preparing for today's interview for a long time, for fear that she would not be able to choose. Even, I didn't sleep well last night. Result. Is this enough? What, you don't want to? Seeing Yakushi Nanoyu's silence, Senju Takuya frowned. No no, everything is subject to Takuya-sama's arrangement. Yakushi Nanoyu quickly kaido. Hearing her words, Senju Takuya smiled again on his face. Then you go back and prepare. In three days, we will hold the wedding. Three days later, Senju Takuya and Yakushi held a grand wedding. Except that there is no Jiraiya holding the horse, there is almost no difference from the last time he married Uzumaki Kashina. Senju Takuya rode a white horse and took Yakushi Nunoyu for a walk around Konoha village before returning to the Senju tribe. After all, Senju Takuya doesn't want to miss this opportunity to properly promote the Senju clan. Not just Yakushi and Uzumaki Kashina. Every time he marries a wife in the future, he will have such a parade. This scene also made the ninjas in Konoha village excited again. I didn't expect those announcements to be true. Senju Takuya married another wife. I'm so envious, I've been single for 30 years. Tisk, it's such a big show again, the Senju family is really rich. Nonsense, you don't have the money to give such a good treatment. By the way, does anyone know the woman chosen this time? I know his name is Yakushi no no. He is an ordinary chunin. He used to borrow money from me often. I'm so lucky to be in the lap of the Senju clan. I'm going to soar into the sky in the future. There's endless money to spend, all kinds of precious and powerful ninjutsu, and such a handsome husband. Why isn't I the chosen one? I don't want to work hard. Seeing the glorious Yakushi Nunoyu sitting in the sedan chair, the women of Konoha all cast envious glances. If, it would be great if they could be so lucky. Dot dot dot. Returning to the clan, Senju Takuya and Yakushi Nanoyu came to the wedding room. Takuya-sama, let me change your clothes. Yakushi Nanoyu lowered his head and said with a red face. Senju Takuya didn't say anything, but just enjoyed Yakushi Nono's service as a matter of course. After Yakushi Nunoyu changed Senju Takuya's clothes, he unbuttoned his own clothes. Looking at Yakushi Nono's beautiful face and attractive figure, Senju Takuya picked him up. Amidst Yakushi Nanoyu's exclamation, a bright red flower quietly bloomed. Dot dot dot. Ding. Marry Yakushi no no and get the reward, medical ninjutsu grandmaster. Ding. Being in love with Yakushi Nanoyu, getting reward, physical fitness plus 0.5. Sure enough, it's pretty much what I guessed. Listening to the system prompts in his mind, Senju Takuya nodded. Compared to Uzumaki Kashina, Yakushi Nanoyu gave him much less rewards. It just rewards a medical ninjutsu grandmaster. And, the reward provided by affection is only constitution plus 0.5. Compared with Uzumaki Kashina's constitution plus 1 and chakra plus 1, it is much inferior. But, Senju Takuya is already very satisfied. Quality is not enough, quantity is needed. If the number is large enough, no matter how small the reward is, it will add up to a terrifying number. Takuya-sama. Daughter you awake. Yakushi, a first-time wife, still has a flush on her face. At this moment, she looked at Senju Takuya with more love in her eyes. Nanoyu, if you need anything, just tell Kashina. You also know that the purpose of marrying me is to revive the Senju clan. As long as you consider the Senju clan wholeheartedly from now on, I will definitely not treat you badly. Senju Takuya touched Yakushi no no's hair and said. Um, I see. Yakushi nodded obediently. Okay, go to sleep. Dot dot dot. Early the next morning, Senju Takuya left Yakushi Nunoyu's room refreshed. As soon as he went out, he saw Uzumaki Kashina waiting in the yard. Kashina, morning. Senju Takuya smiled and said hello. Snort, how did you feel last night? Uzumaki Kashina said with a slight snort. Although she is willing to sacrifice everything to revive the Senju clan. But I still couldn't help but feel a little jealous. 
Okay, this is the first time for Nanoyu, I'm not as good as you. Ah, you are going to die. After hearing what Senju Takuya said, Uzumaki Kashina punched him in shame. But the next second, Senju Takuya grabbed his wrist. What, what are you going to do? Feeling Senju Takuya's hot gaze, Uzumaki Kashina asked in a panic. After getting along with him for a period of time, she knew very well what Senju Takuya's eyes meant now. Kashina, I told you I wouldn't leave you alone. Senju Takuya said as he lowered his head and kissed her. You bad guy, is this a matter of being cold or not? Ah, uh, don't, Nanoyu will see it. Uzumaki Kashina struggled in embarrassment. Don't you know what I'm capable of? Don't worry, she's sleeping soundly now. Senju Takuya teased. Soon, Uzumaki Kashina's mind went blank. Dot dot dot. One month later. Water style grand falls technique. Wind style great breakthrough. Fire style the fire is extinguished. Quote dot 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 quote. After releasing several large ninjutsu in succession, Senju Takuya nodded with satisfaction. Immediately, Senju Takuya's figure disappeared. When he reappeared, he was already in front of a huge rock several meters high. Boom. As Senju Takuya punched out, the hard rock instantly fell apart. Powerful air waves quickly spread to all directions. Takuya, you're getting stronger again. Seeing this scene in front of her, Uzumaki Kashina couldn't help but sigh. In this month, she witnessed the growth of Senju Takuya. Originally, she could also compete with Senju Takuya. But soon, she was no match for Senju Takuya. The amount of chakra the opponent has is terrifying. Even she from the Uzumaki clan, which is famous for its chakra amount, is much inferior. Moreover, the opponent's physical fitness is terrifyingly strong. It's simply a humanoid-tailed beast. Kashina, it's all thanks to you and Nunoyu. After listening to Uzumaki Kashina's words, Senju Takuya smiled. On the second night after marrying Yakushi no no, he had already achieved the achievement of being slept with. During this month, he worked hard every day. Constitution can be plus 1.5 every day, and chakra can be plus 1 every day. Therefore, his strength is improving rapidly every day. You're talking nonsense again. Uzumaki Kashina and Yakushi's faces turned red at the same time, obviously thinking of something embarrassing. Don't be shy. Let's continue tonight. Looking at his two lovely wives, Senju Takuya smiled. Who? Uzumaki Kashina cursed. This guy doesn't know what's going on. He's still so energetic every day after so long. What a buffalo. Takuya, I can't accompany you anymore. Yakushi said suddenly. Um, what's wrong? After hearing what Yakushi Nanoyu said, Senju Takuya asked in confusion. Yes, Nanoyu, why did you say that suddenly? What happened? Uzumaki Kashina also expressed concern. After a month of candid meeting, her relationship with Yakushi Nanoyu has also warmed up rapidly. At this moment, hearing Yakushi Nanoyu suddenly say such words, Uzumaki Kashina immediately became anxious. Seeing the anxious look of the two people, Yakushi knew that his words had misunderstood the other party. So he quickly waved his hands and explained with a blushing face. Sister Kashina, no, it's not what you think. Yes. I, I seem to. Pregnant. I seem to be pregnant. Yakushi explained weakly. What? You're pregnant. Hearing Yakushi Nanoyu's words, Uzumaki Kashina stood up excitedly. Um, Yakushi nodded affirmatively. As a Grandmaster Medical Ninjutsu Ninja, she was quite confident. Very good. After receiving an affirmative answer, Uzumaki Kashina clapped her hands happily. In this way, the first child of the Senju clan will be born soon. Takuya, I'm sorry. I won't be able to accompany you for a while. Yakushi said weakly. It does not matter. From now on, you should take a good rest and put your health first. Senju Takuya comforted. Um, after hearing Senju Takuya's words, Yakushi Nunoyu finally felt relieved. There was a happy smile all over her face. She loves children. Now, she is about to have a child of her own. Dot dot dot. Konoha Village. Uzumaki Kashina pulled Yakushi Nunoyu on the road. Behind him were four or five servants. Each servant was carrying many large and small bags. In, it's full of all kinds of expensive supplements and precious ingredients. Sister Kashina, I'm just pregnant now, so I don't need to be so careful. What a waste to buy so many things. Yakushi Nanoyu smiled bitterly. What is this? 
The child you are carrying is the child of our Senju family. We cannot be too careful. This is an important matter directly related to the revival of the Senju clan. Uzumaki Kashina said seriously, the Senju clan is now sparsely populated. In order to revive the Senju clan as soon as possible, one cannot be too careful. Okay, I get it. Hearing what Uzumaki Kashina said, Yakushi could only nod and compromise. The two of them just bought a lot of clothes, supplements, jewelry. It wasn't until the servants who followed him couldn't take it anymore, that they returned home with unfulfilled feelings. And after Uzumaki Kashina left, all the villagers in Konoha were envious. Hey, how much did these two people spend today? I guess it's at least 10 million tails, right? As expected of the wife of the leader of the Senju clan, she is simply inhumane. Yakushi Nanoyu was originally an ordinary ninja, but I didn't expect that now he would suddenly become the rich wife of a wealthy family. Yeah, look at those expensive clothes and eye-catching jewelry she wears, I'm so jealous. Ooh, I regret it now. I also want to be a wealthy wife, and I also want to buy, buy, buy. No, I have to submit information to the Senju clan again. Maybe it will be my turn this time. I am coming too. Suddenly, many women flocked to the Senju clan's territory. Moreover, many women who had been waiting and watching also made up their minds after seeing Yakushi Nono's experience with their own eyes. For a time, the threshold of the Senju clan was about to be breached. And just when the women of Konoha went to the Senju clan to submit their personal information, Senju Takuya came to the Uchiha clan. Dot dot dot. Uchiha tribe land. Uchiha Chiandao looked at Senju Takuya in front of him with some surprise. Chief Takuya, what's the matter with you today? Uchiha Chishima asked. He really couldn't understand why the leader of the Senju clan, who had been in the limelight recently, came to visit him unexpectedly. Chief of the Chiandao clan, you must have heard about the recent events of our Senju clan, right? Senju Takuya sat opposite Uchiha Chishima, took a sip of tea, and then said calmly. I know, it's a plan to choose a wife. Ha ha ha, Chief Takuya is so young, he just knows how to play. Uchiha Chishima laughed. He is very clear about the current situation of the Senju clan. He even thought for a time that the Senju clan would disappear in the long river of history soon. Unexpectedly, Senju Takuya actually came up with a, choose a wife, plan. Although it sounds a bit outrageous, it always feels like there is a lot of hope for success. At least, from the current point of view, the reputation of the Senju clan has returned to its peak state. In a few years, Senju Takuya will marry more wives and have more children. Maybe the Senju clan can really be revived again. Thinking of this, Uchiha Chiandao seemed to have thought of something and frowned slightly. Chief Takuya, your sudden visit this time is not about choosing a wife, right? The Chiandao clan leader is really smart. I came to visit you this time to propose marriage. Senju Takuya said without any disguise. I think I might disappoint the Takuya clan leader. Our Uchiha clan members generally don't marry outside. Uchiha Chishima said with a slight snort. The Senju clan and the Uchiha clan are feuding. He wished that the Senju clan would be exterminated as soon as possible. How could he be willing to let his own people help revive the Senju clan? Chief of the Chiandao clan, is this all you can see? Senju Takuya said calmly. What do you mean? Uchiha Chiandao said with some displeasure. Although he has been in a high position all year round, no one has dared to say such rude words to him for a long time. How the Senju clan got to where they are now step by step, I think the leader of the Chiandao clan must know very well. Although the relationship between the Senju clan and the Uchiha clan is not harmonious, they were once teammates who fought side by side. I wonder if the leader of the Chishima clan has ever considered how the Uchiha clan will deal with themselves when the Senju clan disappears. Senju Takuya said calmly, What does the disappearance of the Senju clan have to do with us, the Uchiha clan? Uchiha Chishima asked in confusion. As far as I know, the Uchiha clan has a bad reputation in the village recently, right? Furthermore, the third Hokage and Shimura Danzo are unabashedly hostile to the Uchiha clan. I am certain that when they free up their hands, the next one to be, disappeared, will be the Uchiha clan. Senju Takuya said slowly, snort, could it be that the third Hokage and the others still dare to attack the Uchiha clan? Uchiha Chiandao said harshly, 
Seeing his appearance, Senju Takuya drank all the tea in his cup. Chief of the Qiandao clan, although I don't have a Sharingan, my eyes have clearly seen your future. Goodbye. After Senju Takuya finished speaking, he stood up and left. Wait a moment, I think we can still discuss the matter of marriage. Uchiha Chiandao said quickly as he saw Senju Takuya was about to leave. Senju Takuya is right. These years, as the Senju clan gradually disappears, the hostility towards the Uchiha clan in the village becomes more and more obvious. Even, now the Uchiha clan can be said to have been excluded from the core power level of the village. The greatest power in his hands is the Konoha police force. It seems that he has a lot of power, but in fact he has no access to the inner circle of the village. He hadn't felt this way before Senju Takuya said anything. But with Senju Takuya's analysis just now, Uchiha Chiandao became more and more frightened as he thought about it. The Uchiha clan. It is really possible to follow the path of the Senju clan. After all, even the Senju clan, which has produced two Hokages, has been calculated into this. Could the Uchiha clan still be able to escape? Chief of the Chiandao clan, have you changed your mind? Senju Takuya said calmly. Chief Takuya, let's get down to business. You are here to propose marriage this time. Do you have a favorite candidate? Uchiha Chishima smiled. He has now figured out that only the Senju family can stand in front of them, and the Uchiha family can sit back and relax. Besides, marriage is beneficial to both parties. The Uchiha clan is now in a bit of an awkward situation, and the village is becoming more and more hostile to the Uchiha clan. If we can marry into the Senju clan, this situation can be alleviated to a certain extent. Since I'm here to propose marriage, of course I have the woman I like. Senju Takuya smiled. It seems that, the leader of the Uchiha clan is quite smart. To be able to agree to the marriage in such a short period of time. This alone makes him infinitely better than the indecisive Uchiha Fugaku. Oh, who does Chief Takuya have his eye on? Just tell me and I will be responsible for protecting your match. Uchiha Chiandao patted his chest and said, Uchiha Makoto. Senju Takuya said slowly, Ah, Makoto, Uchiha Chiandao was a little surprised when he heard Senju Takuya's words. This, I wonder if Chief Takuya can be replaced. We, the Uchiha clan, have many beauties. Uchiha Chiandao was speechless. Why is it Uchiha Makoto? Makoto is the daughter-in-law he chose for his son. Not to mention, Fugaku is also very satisfied with Makoto. Chief of the Thousand Islands clan, I am here specifically for Makoto. Senju Takuya said unmoved, no matter in terms of rewards or personal emotions, Uchiha Makoto must win. Chief Takuya, you may not know that Makoto is already engaged to my son. Uchiha Chiandao thought Senju Takuya didn't know about this, so he patiently explained. Chief of the Chiandao clan, the engagement can be cancelled. To show my sincerity, I am willing to use five copper mines as a betrothal gift. Senju Takuya continued, although copper ore is valuable, it is nothing compared to Uchiha Makoto. If the copper mine is gone, we can still make money, but if Uchiha Makoto is gone, the loss will be huge. Ah, Chief Takuya, this is my daughter-in-law. Uchiha Chishima swallowed. Ten copper mines. Senju Takuya said calmly. He has shown his sincerity. If Uchiha Chiandao still doesn't agree, then he will have no choice but to take it. But it was obvious that his worries were unnecessary. The moment he heard about the ten copper mines, Uchiha Chishima slammed the table. Make a deal, Uchiha Chishima said urgently. That expression seemed to be afraid that Senju Takuya would regret it. Not to mention ten copper mines. Even if it was five copper mines, he almost couldn't help but agree just now. Daughter-in-law or whatever, it's up to you to choose. Copper mines represent real money. Moment, Uchiha Chiandao handed an agreement to Senju Takuya. After the two signed the agreement, Uchiha Chiandao looked at Senju Takuya with a smile on his face. Chief Takuya, the wedding will be scheduled in one month. No problem. Senju Takuya nodded lightly. He could still wait for this little time. But, Uchiha Fugaku suddenly opened the door and barged in. Father, no. Uchiha Fugaku looked at Uchiha Chishima and said anxiously. He had been eavesdropping outside the door just now. After hearing that Uchiha Chijima had betrothed his sweetheart to Senju Takuya, he couldn't bear it anymore. 
Fugaku, how dare you be so rude? Seeing Uchiha Fugaku barging in, Uchiha Chiandao said displeased. Father, you promised to betroth Makoto to me. Uchiha Fugaku shouted. Seeing him like this, Uchiha Chishima became even more angry. Isn't she just a woman? What is it compared to ten copper mines? Why did I give birth to a son like this? He has no courage at all. Father, I don't care, Makoto must belong to me. Asshole, snapped, with a crisp slap, Uchiha Fugaku's cheeks swelled. You guy, calm down. After being slapped, Uchiha Fugaku finally shut his mouth. But, a pair of dark eyes stared at Senju Takuya with hatred. Chief Takuya, I made you laugh. Uchiha Chishima smiled at Senju Takuya. If Senju Takuya gets angry because of this kind of thing and cancels the marriage in anger, then he will suffer a big loss. Fine, if there's nothing else, I'll leave first. Senju Takuya glanced contemptuously at Uchiha Fugaku. The character of the other party is really hard to describe. Do you think he is weak? He dared to rush in and express his dissatisfaction loudly. But you say he is tough, right? After being slapped in the face, it died down. No wonder that when he later became the leader of the Uchiha clan, he would allow the radicals to develop while being hesitant to launch a coup. Finally, on the night of genocide, they chose the policy of non-resistance. The Uchiha clan was eventually exterminated, and he had to bear 70% of the responsibility. Asshole, what's that look in your face? After seeing the contempt in Senju Takuya's eyes, Uchiha Fugaku couldn't help it anymore. He rushed in front of Senju Takuya and blocked Senju Takuya's way. How, is there anything you need? Senju Takuya laughed contemptuously. He doesn't have much fond feelings for Uchiha Fugaku. Therefore, naturally, he doesn't have a good attitude. You're just a businessman who's not even a ninja. If it weren't for the fact that all the Senju clan are dead, you wouldn't be the leader of the Senju clan. How can you be a good match for Makoto with a piece like you? Uchiha Fugaku roared. After hearing his words, Senju Takuya's face turned cold. Chief Chiandao, Laozi will discipline your son for you today. Ha 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 ha, it's just you. Hearing Senju Takuya's words, Uchiha Fugaku laughed disdainfully. You want to teach a guy who is not even a ninja. It is only natural for Lousy to teach the boy a lesson. It's just that it's not yet certain who is Lousy and who is the son. After Uchiha Fugaku finished speaking, his dark eyes instantly turned into a pair of scarlet three Tomo Sharingan. Is this your confidence? Yes, although I have just awakened three Tomo Sharingan, but to deal with. Snapped. Before Uchiha Fugaku could finish speaking, a crisp slap sounded. Uchiha Fugaku looked at Senju Takuya in shock. You. Dot you conduct a sneak attack. Snapped. Another click. Uchiha Fugaku's cheeks suddenly became red and swollen. Ah, I'll kill you. Hit someone but don't slap them in the face. After being slapped twice in a row, Uchiha Fugaku felt extremely insulted. He angrily attacked Senju Takuya. And what he responded to was a whip kick. Boom. With a loud noise, Uchiha Fugaku's body flew upside down like a kite with its string broken. Boom, Uchiha Fugaku's body was like a kite with its string broken. Under Senju Takuya's attack, it flew out instantly. He didn't stop until he broke the rockery in the courtyard into two halves. PFF, Uchiha Fugaku spurted a mouthful of bright red blood and lay on the ground moaning. Senju Takuya's kick just now almost killed him on the spot. Now is it clear who is lousy and who is the son? Senju Takuya walked up to Uchiha Fugaku and said condescendingly. Seeing Senju Takuya's contemptuous eyes, Uchiha Fugaku was extremely angry. But, after feeling the undisguised murderous intent on Senju Takuya, Uchiha Fugaku chose to close his eyes and lie on the ground pretending to be dead. Snort, Senju Takuya snorted. With such a weak look, he really doesn't deserve to be the leader of a clan. Chief of the Chiandao clan, I accidentally struck a little too hard just now. You don't have any objections, do you? Senju Takuya ignored Uchiha Fugaku who was lying on the ground pretending to be dead, but instead focused on Uchiha Chishima. Of course I have no objection. Today, the Uchiha clan did not do a good job in this matter. Another day, I will come and apologize in person. Uchiha Chishima said with a smile. Anyway, Fugaku has been beaten, there is no need to continue to make Senju Takuya evil because of this kind of thing. 
The Uchiha family has had some financial problems recently. He is also counting on the 10 copper mines to solve the current difficulties. Then I'll take my leave. In a month, I will come on time to marry Makoto. Senju Takuya said lightly, then turned and left. After he left, the smile on Uchiha Chiandao's face gradually disappeared. Trash, how long are you going to pretend to be dead? Uchiha Chishima looked at Uchiha Fugaku lying on the ground with an angry face. Father, I, I seem to have broken bones all over my body and can't move. Uchiha Fugaku said painfully. Hearing his words, Uchiha Chishima frowned. He knelt down and inspected it carefully. It was discovered that all the bones in Uchiha Fugaku's body were actually broken. This surprised Uchiha Chishima. He never thought that Senju Takuya's casual attack could have such great power. Father, I was careless this time. Next time, I will definitely not embarrass the Uchiha clan. Uchiha Fugaku gritted his teeth and said, Forget it, you are no match for him. Judging from the speed and strength of Senju Takuya's attack just now, this leader of the Senju clan may not be as simple as we thought. You are not allowed to provoke him again, Uchiha Chishima said calmly. He is very clear about his son's strength. Although Fugaku has just opened three Tomo Sharingan not long ago, his strength is already much stronger than the average Jonin. But, when facing Senju Takuya, he still had no power to fight back. It can be seen from this that Senju Takuya's true strength is probably very terrifying. You have such great strength but you chose to give up becoming a ninja. I have been hiding it for more than 10 years and have only become active now. The Senju clan may really rise again. Uchiha Chishima sighed. Now that Senju Takuya is choosing his wife with such great fanfare, he doesn't mind showing off his strength in front of him at all. That means that the other party is fully prepared. Uchiha Chiandao suddenly felt a little lucky. He married into the Senju clan. Maybe it can really improve the situation of the Uchiha family a lot. Thinking of this, Uchiha Chiandao glanced at Uchiha Fugaku lying on the ground again, and became unhappy again. My son didn't feel bad at first, but compared with Senju Takuya, why was he so far behind? They are obviously about the same age. Snort. Just lie here for now, and I will find someone to take you to the hospital. While you are recuperating, please stay at home and reflect on it. Your performance today is really bad. Uchiha Chiandao snorted lightly, turned and left. Watching his leaving figure, Uchiha Fugaku's heart was filled with anger. It's all Senju Takuya's fault. Not only did he take away his favorite woman, but he also embarrassed himself so much in front of his father. Senju Takuya, I will never let you go. Uchiha Fugaku gritted his teeth and said. A pair of Scarlet Three Tomo Sharingan are also turning rapidly. The eye power that originally stagnated after turning on Three Tomo Sharingan actually began to grow quietly. Dot dot dot. When Senju Takuya went to Uchiha to propose marriage, he had nothing to hide. Plus Uchiha Chishima is secretly adding fuel to the fire. So, in a very short time, the news that Senju Takuya proposed marriage to the Uchiha clan spread in Konoha. Oh my god, this world is so crazy. The Senju clan is actually going to marry the Uchiha clan. I still can't believe it. With the relationship between Senju and Uchiha, the Uchiha clan leader would actually agree to Senju Takuya's request. This is not nonsense. I heard that this time the Senju clan chief gave out 10 copper mines as a betrothal gift. Hey, 10 copper mines. Good guy, Chief Takuya has refreshed my worldview again. He used 10 copper mines as a betrothal gift. This is too awesome. As expected of a well-established and wealthy family, with this foundation, wouldn't it be simple to revive Senju? Now the streets of Konoha are full of discussions related to Senju Takuya. Whether it is the marriage between Senju and Uchiha, or ten copper mines as betrothal gifts. It's enough to shock people for a hundred years. And, not only the ordinary villagers in Konoha, but also the major ninja clans in Konoha all took a breath after hearing about this incident. Ten copper mines. How much does that cost? Many ninjas. They all had the same thought. If they also marry the Senju clan, they will definitely get a lot of benefits, right? Even, even the Hyuga clan, which has always been determined not to marry outsiders, was very excited about this. 
Although there was a heated discussion in the end, the conservatives still managed to get the Hyuga clan to give up the idea of marriage with the Senju clan with an extremely slim advantage. But, this is enough to show how much impact Senju Takuya's choice of wife had. Senju Takuya is naturally happy to see this result. For his wife selection plan, almost all the applicants for the job were civilian ninjas without any background. But things are different now. After seeing the huge benefits that the Uchiha clan has gained, the various ninja clans in Konoha finally couldn't hold it anymore and threw all of branches to the Senju clan. As long as Senju Takuya takes this opportunity to have interests entangled with various families in Konoha. That in the future, when he leads the rebellion against the rule of the likes of Sarutobi Hiruzen and Shimura Danzo. It's hard to say who is the orthodoxy of Konoha. Senju tribe land, in the luxurious reception hall. Nara Shikaku, Akamaiki Dingza, and Yamanaka Haichi were sitting in the hall, looking a little anxious. Shikaku, do you think this can be done? We have been waiting for so long, why hasn't Senju Takuya come out yet? Are you sure? Akamaiki Dingza looked at Nara Shikaku and asked. Don't worry, you are now a patriarch, so don't be impatient in doing things. Nara Shikaku said calmly, but I'm a little hungry now. Akamaiki Dingzao said a little aggrievedly. Oh, just hold on a little longer. It's really troublesome, Nara Shikaku murmured in a low voice. Ha 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 ha, I'm sorry to keep everyone waiting. While several people were talking, Senju Takuya's hearty laughter came out. Chief Takuya, seeing Senju Takuya come out, Nara, Akamaiki Dingza, and Yamanaka all stood up politely. I wonder what's the matter with the three clan leaders coming here at the same time. Senju Takuya gets straight to the point. That's right, Chief Takuya, we were deeply shocked when we heard about your plan to revive Senju. At the same time, I admire your intelligence very much for being able to come up with such a method. We, the Nara clan, the Akamaiki clan, and the Yamanaka clan, have always been staunch allies of the Senju clan. So, today we are specially here to talk to you about choosing a wife. We also want to contribute to the revival of Senju. Yamanaka Haichi said with a smile. After hearing his words, Senju Takuya nodded in understanding. It seems that, my previous actions have already begun to take effect. These ninjas who had been waiting and watching finally couldn't help it after knowing the huge benefits the Uchiha clan had received. Really, there is only profit, is the best catalyst. So that's it. That's a lot of trouble. Senju Takuya smiled. It should. I just don't know that the female charm we selected is not in line with the wishes of the Takuya clan leader. Seeing that Senju Takuya did not refuse, Yamanakahai clapped his hands. Soon, three women with sweet looks and hot bodies walked in. Master Takuya, this is a member of our three tribes specially selected for you. Not only are they good-looking, but they are also Jonin in strength. I will definitely be able to give birth to excellent blood for the Senju clan in the future. Nara Shikaku introduced with some pain. These are three Jonin. Even for a great ninja like Ino Shikacho, it would be very painful to take it out. But, in order to please Senju Takuya, this sacrifice must be made. Meet Takuya Sama. The three women who came in bowed respectfully to Senju Takuya and then introduced themselves. Looking at the three beauties in front of him, Senju Takuya nodded with satisfaction. Three beautiful Jonin are rare to find especially for the Akamaiki clan, in order to cooperate with their family's secret skills, the Akamaiki clan members usually eat very fat. It's not easy to find a woman with such a hot body. It can be seen that several people have really put a lot of effort into it. Okay, then the marriage between our families is settled. Senju Takuya spoke. Seeing that Senju Takuya was satisfied, Nara Shikaku and others secretly breathed a sigh of relief in their hearts. There should be no problems with this marriage. The clan leaders are interested. In this case, I, the Senju clan, should also express my gratitude. Senju Takuya knows the purpose of several people well. Therefore, he readily promised to give the three of them some benefits. Nara's family is rich in medicinal materials, and they can cooperate with Senju Pharmaceuticals under his name. The Akamaiki family cooperates with the breeding industry under his name. As for the Yamanaka clan, Senju Takuya promises to cooperate with them on perfumes and cosmetics. Although some of the benefits will be given away, it is still very cost-effective to get the support of the three tribes. 
several clan leaders have made such great contributions to the revival of the Senju clan. In the future, if you encounter any trouble, we, the Senju clan, will not stand idly by. Senju Takuya promised. Hearing his words, Nara Shikaku, Yamanaka Haichi, and Akamaiki Dingza all looked surprised. In their hearts, they are satisfied with being able to have some business cooperation with the Senju family. Unexpectedly, I even got a promise from Senju Takuya. It is no exaggeration to say that the promise of the Senju clan, the top wealthy family in Konoha, is worth thousands of dollars. Finally, several people agreed on a wedding date. This time, Senju Takuya did not set the date for a month later like he proposed marriage with the Uchiha clan. Instead, I chose a week later. And for the sake of convenience, just marry all three people at once. Nara Shikaku and others have no objections to these matters at all. After all, they don't take these face-saving projects as seriously as the Uchiha clan does. After some discussions, Nara Shikaku, Akamaiki Dingza, and Yamanaka Kaichi all got satisfactory results and left happily. Although Senju Takuya did not give huge benefits like 10 copper mines like the marriage with the Uchiha family. But just some business cooperation is enough for them to make a lot of money. Chapter 21 A week later, Senju Takuya married Yamanaka Ono, Akamaiki Ryoko, and Nara Miki in a high-profile manner. Like the previous two times, Senju Takuya still ran around Konoha village. The difference is, this time, Senju Takuya pulled three brides at once. Marry three at once, and all of their wives will be powerful beauties. Such behavior suddenly made Senju Takuya the object of envy, jealousy and hatred in the eyes of Konoha men. No, I'm so angry. Why can he marry so many beautiful women by himself? That's right, I'm still single. It's so irritating that people are so different from each other. There is only one yellow-faced woman in my family, and she quarrels with me every day. Drought to death, waterlogging to death, waterlogging to death, Senju Takuya really deserves to die. Strongly protest this behavior, because that man is not me. After seeing the beauty of Yamanaka Ono, Akamaiki Ryoko, and Nara Miki, the men were so jealous that they almost broke their teeth. First it was Uzumaki Kashina, then Yakushi no no, and now Nara Miki and the other three. The men of Konoha beat their chests in anger at the thought of five goddess-like beauties serving Senju Takuya together. Compared to the men in Konoha, the women in Konoha village are mostly worried. After all, now even the ninja clan of Konoha have participated. It is even more difficult for them to marry into Senju. Of course, for all this, Senju Takuya didn't know. He is currently in the Senju tribe, looking at the three beautiful wives in front of him. Takuya-sama, let us change your clothes. Nara Miki was the first to speak. Akamaiki Ryoko and Yamanaka Ono also followed. Although they are all janin, they are as docile as three kittens at the moment. Because, on Senju Takuya's body, they instinctively sensed a very dangerous aura. Years of ninja experience told them that the Senju clan leader in front of them, who was not even a ninja, might have very terrifying strength. Thank you for your hard work, Senju Takuya said matter-of-factly. After receiving Senju Takuya's answer, Nara Miki, Akamaiki Ryoko, and Yamanaka Ono began to serve Senju Takuya to change clothes. After a while, when everything is ready, Senju Takuya began to work hard to revive Senju. Sleepless night, when the first ray of sunshine in the morning shone into the room, the voice of the system also sounded in Senju Takuya's mind. Ding, marry Nara Miki and acquire the secret skill, shadow imitation. Marry Akamaiki Ryoko and acquire the secret technique, super multiplication technique. Marry Yamanaka Ono, get the secret technique, heart to heart technique. A series of system prompts sounded, and a satisfied smile appeared on Senju Takuya's face. With the blessing of these three secret techniques, his strength can be improved. Whether it is the shadow imitation technique or the heart changing technique, they are all ninjutsu that can surprise and play a great role in actual combat. As for super doubling, Senju Takuya glanced at the people collapsed on the bed. I don't need this secret technique at all. Ding. Be in love with Akamaiki Ryoko and get a reward, physique plus one. Be in love with Yamanaka Ono and get the reward, mental power plus one. Be in love with Nara Miki and get the reward, mental power plus one. 
Senju Takuya was delighted when he heard the system prompt. Yamanaka Ono and Naramiki were able to enhance his mental power. For ninjas, the three-dimensional attributes of physique, chakra, and mental strength are extremely important. Not much to say about chakra, it is related to the total chakra amount of the ninja and the chakra recovery speed. The physique determines the speed, strength, endurance, explosive power of the ninja. Mental power determines the ninja's abilities in various aspects such as perception, illusion, ceiling, time and space, etc. Now, Senju Takuya can gain 2.5 points of physical strength, 1 point of chakra, and 2 points of mental strength through love every day. Even Senju Takuya himself feels a little scary at this speed of improvement. After feeling the changes in his body, Senju Takuya was ready to get up. His action woke Naramiki, Yamanaka Ono, and Akamiki Ryoko from their sleep. Takuya-sama, the three of them rubbed their sleepy eyes and looked at Senju Takuya with more awe. Last night, even if the three of them worked together, they were killed by Senju Takuya. In just one night, Nara and Miki were deeply impressed. From now on, you will be the head wife of the Senju clan. From today on, your most important task is to serve me well and give birth to a bloodline for the Senju clan as soon as possible. As for the rest, you can discuss it with Kashina. Senju Takuya looked at the three of them and smiled softly. Um, we will definitely work hard. Hearing Senju Takuya's words, Nara Miki and the other three nodded vigorously. Seeing their appearance, Senju Takuya nodded with satisfaction. If this continues, it won't be long before the Senju clan can achieve a true renaissance. Ding, be in love with Uzumaki Kashina and get rewards, physique plus one, chakra plus one. Be in love with Yamanaka Ono and get the reward, mental power plus one. And, Senju Takuya groaned in comfort. This feeling of getting stronger every day is so exciting. Takuya, if this continues, will your body be unable to bear it? Uzumaki Kashina asked worriedly, although the restoration of the Senju clan is urgent. But, then you have to pay attention to moderation. She was fine by herself before. Now, in addition to Yakushi Nono who is already pregnant, Senju Takuya already has four women. And there will be more to come. If she continued to create people every night, she was afraid that Senju Takuya's body would be hollowed out. Don't worry, Kashina. In order to revive Senju and make Senju's population prosper as soon as possible, this sacrifice is nothing. Senju Takuya smiled proudly. He is not some future Konoha's white fang hair technician. The restorative power of Uzumaki sage body pervert coupled with the growing physical and mental strength every day. This consumption is nothing at all. Hearing Senju Takuya's words, Uzumaki Kashina was relieved. She knows, Senju Takuya doesn't joke about his body. And, Senju Takuya's body is indeed somewhat different from ordinary people. Even if the four of them go together, they are no match at all. Okay, I'm going to practice. We're going with you. Hearing Senju Takuya's words, Uzumaki Kashina and others said in unison. After a while, a few people came to the lake where Senju Takuya usually practiced. Takuya, Sister Kashina said that you are stronger than her, is it true? Arriving at the place of practice, Yamanaka couldn't help but ask. Nara Miki and Akamiki Ryoko couldn't help but cast curious glances. In their hearts, they always thought that Senju Takuya, who dropped out of the ninja school, was only an ordinary genin at best. Of course, whether it's in bed or out of bed, your man can easily get you. Pu, hearing Senju Takuya's dirty words, Uzumaki Kashina and others all turned red. This guy is truly a big bad guy and a big pervert. Do not believe, then you all come together today, and I will show you my true strength. Senju Takuya laughed, after hearing what he said, except for Uzumaki Kashina, who had already seen Senju Takuya's strength, Nara Miki and others didn't believe it. After all, all four of them are Janin. Together, even cage-level experts dare to touch it. Come. Senju Takuya ignored the thoughts of several people and assumed a fighting posture. It had been a long time since he had played against anyone else. Today, it's a good time to take a look at your own strength. All right, seeing Senju Takuya's excitement, Yamanaka and others could only nod in agreement. But, but I secretly made up my mind. Be sure to release the water when fighting later. Be careful, seeing that everyone was ready. 
Senju Takuya reminded him, and his figure disappeared instantly. So fast, Nara Miki couldn't help but exclaimed. Senju Takuya's speed is really too fast. Careful. In my ears, Uzumaki Kashina's voice came. Before Nara Miki could react, Senju Takuya had already appeared beside her. It's not a good sign to lose focus during a battle. Senju Takuya's words rang in her ears, and a fist quickly enlarged in her eyes. Partial doubling technique. At the critical moment, Ryoko Akamaiki shouted. A pair of huge palms slapped Senju Takuya hard. Snort. Senju Takuya snorted lightly, turned around and grabbed Akamaiki Ryoko's hand. Go to me. Senju Takuya exerted a little force, and Akamaiki Ryoko was immediately thrown away. What a power! Seeing Akamaiki Ryoko flying upside down, Yamanaka Ono and Naramiki were both shocked. They are very aware of Akamaiki Ryoko's power. But the opponent was easily thrown away. So how strong should Senju Takuya be? At this moment, Uzumaki Kashina also rushed up. But like Akamaiki Ryoko, Uzumaki Kashina's attack was easily resolved in the face of Senju Takuya's powerful strength and unparalleled speed. Boom! With a powerful whip kick, Uzumaki Kashina was whipped out by Senju Takuya. However, she and Akamaiki Ryoko were able to hold Senju Takuya back for a while. Heart-to-heart -heart technique At the moment when Senju Takuya and Akamaiki Ryoko and Uzumaki Kashina fought, Yamanaka Ono decisively activated the family secret technique. But, the next second, Yamanaka Ono felt an extremely terrifying spiritual power. That powerful mental power was like a ferocious beast, as if it could easily tear her into pieces at any time. Call, Yamanaka Ono released the heart switch technique, and his body fell limply to the ground. She didn't expect that Senju Takuya's mental power was so terrifying. When she was in his body, Yamanaka felt like she would be swallowed up at any time. If the two sides were enemies, she would probably be dead by now. Shadow Mimicry As Nara Miki shouted, her shadow instantly deformed. Immediately connected to the shadow of Senju Takuya. It is finally over. Nara Miki wiped the cold sweat from her forehead. Now, she believed what Uzumaki Kashina said. Senju Takuya. The strength is truly terrifying. The battle just now. Unknowingly, they had used all their strength. But even so, Senju Takuya still gave them a huge sense of oppression. But the result is finally good. They won. Is it really over? Just when Nara Miki and others thought the ending was decided, Senju Takuya's voice rang. Immediately, Nara Miki felt a huge force and tried to break free from the shadow imitation book. Not good. Nara Miki immediately used all her strength to mobilize the chakra in her body. However, in the face of Senju Takuya's powerful power, it still has no effect at all. Snapped, snapped, snapped. With a crisp sound, the shadows wrapped around Senju Takuya were broken one after another. Nara Miki, Akamaiki Ryoko, and Yamanaka Ono all opened their eyes in shock. Forcefully break away from the shadow imitation technique. Isn't this too scary? Next, it's time for me to attack. Shadow clone technique. Senju Takuya formed a seal with his hands, and a shadow clone appeared beside him. Fire style the fire is extinguished. Wind style great breakthrough. Senju Takuya and Shadow Clone formed seals at the same time and launched a powerful fire style ninjutsu and wind style ninjutsu respectively. Fire borrows the wind. The next second, the two ninjutsu combined and roared towards Uzumaki Kashina and others. This, are you kidding me? Seeing the overwhelming flames and feeling the extremely hot temperature, Naramiki and the others all stood in place. The power of this ninjutsu is really terrifying, isn't it? Seeing the flames that seemed to sweep across the entire world, Nara Miki and others were all stunned. Even as a janin, even after many battles, but they still couldn't imagine that the power of ninjutsu could reach this level. I am afraid, only combined ninjutsu performed by dozens of elite ninjas on the battlefield can achieve such power, right? Boom, with a loud noise, flames all over the sky roared from both sides of their bodies and hit the lake hard. Countless steam immediately evaporated, covering everything. For a time, it's like a fairyland on earth, filled with mist. Wind-style breakthrough. With a soft drink, a strong wind blew, and the fog in the sky was blown away. The vision of Uzumaki Kashina and others became clear again. You guys weren't hurt, were you? 
Senju Takuya walked up to Uzumaki Kashina and the others and asked with a smile. With his current mental strength, he can be said to be extremely proficient in controlling chakra. It was precisely because of this that he dared to use such powerful ninjutsu on several people. You pervert, you are so much stronger than last time. Uzumaki Kashina couldn't help but sigh. Even though she had already seen Senju Takuya's power, she was still surprised and speechless every time. Takuya, you are so awesome. Nara Miki, Akamaiki Ryoko, and Yamanaka Ono felt that their worldview had collapsed. They chose to marry Senju Takuya for the benefit of their family, but they never expected. My husband actually has such great power. Feeling the residual heat in the air, Nara Miki and the others couldn't help but swallow. Even a cage-level expert is nothing more than this, right? Seeing the looks of these people, Senju Takuya raised the corner of his mouth slightly. Although, Nara Miki and the others have become his wives. But, after all, the other party chose to marry him for the benefit of the family. And, it's all Jonin. Such ninjas are very unruly at heart. In order to conquer them both physically and mentally, Senju Takuya felt that today's battle was still necessary. It turned out that he was right. Now Nara Miki and the others look at her with a hint of awe in addition to love. Dot dot dot. Hokage building. Hokage office. Hateful. That guy Senju Takuya is getting more and more outrageous. First, we proposed marriage with the Uchiha clan, and now we have marriage alliances with the Akamaiki clan, the Yamanaka clan, and the Nara clan. What does he want to do? Shimura Danzo's roaring voice sounded in the office. Senju Takuya's marriage to other ninja clans in Konoha made him feel a hint of crisis. Hearing Shimura Danzo's roar, Sarutobi Hirazan surprisingly did not refute. Instead, he held his pipe in his mouth, puffed away at the cigarette, and looked out the window. Hirazan, say something. Seeing Sarutobi Hirazan's silence, Shimura Danzo said anxiously. Calm down, Danzo, Sarutobi Hirazan said with a frown. He was also very dissatisfied with Senju Takuya's behavior. In particular, the Ino Shika Cho clan, which had supported him since he became Hokage, also chose Senju Takuya's marriage without even saying hello to him. But, so what, even as a Hokage, there was no reason to prevent him from getting married and having children. Not to mention, the chips offered by Senju Takuya are so tempting. Even if he forcibly stopped it, I'm afraid it would immediately cause dissatisfaction among the various ninja clans. Destroying someone's wealth is like killing one's parents. Sarutobi Hirazan still knows this truth. Hirazan, do we really have to sit idly by and ignore this kind of thing? Do you want Konoha to return to the era when the powerful ninja clan was in power? Shimura Danzo said coldly. Danzo, didn't I say that? It will only take two years at most. When Mito Sama dies, Senju Takuya will be at our disposal. Sarutobi Hirazan said impatiently. Snort, if you ask me, just send someone to secretly give Senju Takuya. To avoid having many long nights and dreams in the future. Shimura Danzo said with a cold snort. Wait another two years. What a joke. Once the interests of the Senju clan became entangled with other ninja clans in the village. After that, if they try to appropriate Senju Takuya's property again, they will be in trouble. Don't tell me this kind of thing. Whatever you want to do is your freedom. Sarutobi Hirazan said calmly. That's what you said. Hearing Sarutobi Hirazan's words, Shimura Danzo snorted, turned and left the Hokage office. After he left, Sarutobi Hirazan's face showed a smile again. Danzo, just do it with confidence and boldness. This is the meaning of your, darkness of Konoha, existence. Dot dot dot. After walking out of the Hokage building, Shimura Danzo turned his head and glanced in the direction of Sarutobi Hirazan, with a proud smile on his face. Snort, Hirazan, you want to use me as a swordsman, but I'm not that stupid. Shimura Danzo snorted. He knew very well what his old friend was thinking. What the other party said was just to make him. Let the, root, in his hand deal with Senju Takuya secretly. If everything is done perfectly, everyone is happy. Even if someone discovers a flaw, he will be the one to take the blame. At that time, this old friend of mine can express with a straight face that he has no knowledge of these things. Everything is my own decision. Push me forward to face the wrath of Mito-sama and that woman Tsunade. But, 
Sarutobi Hirazan thought he was beautiful, but he underestimated him too much. He would not follow Sarutobi Hirazan's ideas. Not only would he not send any of the root ninjas to assassinate Senju Takuya. The opposite of, he also wants to marry Senju Takuya. Given his status, Senju Takuya is marrying into the Shimura clan, so the betrothal gift cannot be less than that of the Uchiha clan, right? Senju Takuya gave the Uchiha clan 10 copper mines, so 10 silver mines isn't too much for him, right? And, after marrying Senju, he can legitimately interfere in the affairs of the Senju clan. Two years were enough for him to transfer the Senju clan's property to the Shimura clan's name. Wait two years later, Master Uzumaki Mido goes to the Pure Land, and then secretly get rid of Senju Takuya. By the time, with his strength, plus the assets he shares with other ninjas. Isn't it a sure thing that he wants to become the Hokage? Hee <laughs> hee, Hiruzen, don't blame me, you plotted this against me first. If you are unkind, then don't blame me for being unjust. After thinking about it secretly in his mind, Shimura Danzo showed a triumphant smile on his face. Daughter, for the sake of father's dream, I have no choice but to wrong you first. Shimura Danzo walked quickly towards the Shimura clan's clan. In order to show his sincerity and have more sufficient reasons to interfere in the Senju clan's affairs in the future, he decided to marry his daughter to Senju Takuya. Senju tribe land. Takuya, look at this. Uzumaki Kashina came over with a piece of information. Kashina, didn't you say so? Let's stop talking about choosing a wife recently. Senju Takuya glanced at the information in Uzumaki Kashina's hand, with a wry smile on his face. Recent, he just married three wives, Yamanaka Ono, Naramiki, and Akamiki Ryoko. In a few weeks, he would marry Uchiha Makoto. So, Senju Takuya plans to take a break from choosing a wife. At least, we have to wait until Yamanaka and Ono are all pregnant before we can continue to think about these things. I know, however, this person's situation is somewhat special. You'd better take a look. Uzumaki Kashina was also a little helpless. After hearing her words, Senju Takuya raised his eyebrows and took the information from Uzumaki Kashina's hand. No, no, what kind of monster is this? All go, Kashina, are you dazzled? Senju Takuya was shocked when he saw the sign on the information. Good guy, this woman must weigh at least 200 pounds, right? The fat features are all squeezed together, making her look a bit sinister. How could Uzumaki Kashina bring information about such a person? In order to ensure the excellent genes of the Senju family, one of his important criteria for choosing a wife is that the woman must be beautiful. You will know if you read it carefully. Looking at Senju Takuya's confused eyes, Uzumaki Kashina urged. After hearing her words, Senju Takuya patiently began to read the contents of the information. Name, Shimura, Flower, Senju Takuya couldn't help but frown when he saw the name on the information. Is this Shimura Danzo's daughter? After reading the information, Senju Takuya was a little surprised. How come Shimura Danzo's daughter's information appears here? It was a, root, ninja who sent the information this morning. There is also a souvenir from Shimura Danzo here. After Uzumaki Kashina finished speaking, she took out an envelope that had not been opened. What is Danzo going to do? Senju Takuya muttered and opened the letter. Chief Takuya, I heard that you recently made a plan to choose a wife in order to revive the Senju clan. The Shimura clan and the Senju clan have always been the closest partners. For this reason, I have decided to betroth my biological daughter to you. As for the dowry, my requirements are not high, just ten silver mines. In order to revive Senju as soon as possible, I hope that the Takuya clan leader can come to the Shimura clan to propose marriage as soon as possible. I'm waiting for you, Shimura Danzo. Looking at the contents of the letter, Senju Takuya was speechless. He said, why would Shimura Danzo suddenly send someone to deliver his daughter's information? Turn out to be, it's because they are jealous of their own betrothal gifts. Ten silver mines, not too demanding. Even though Senju Takuya was prepared, he was shocked by Shimura Danzo's thick skin. This is so shameless. The key is, if you really want to get married, at least send a beautiful girl over. Do you want him to provide money and at the same time take care of your daughter who can't get married? Senju Takuya feels insulted. Does he look like a hungry person? Takuya, 
What do you think? A-D-E-R-T-I-S-E-M-E-N-T. -E -E Uzumaki Kashina read Shimura Danzo's letter again, and then looked at Senju Takuya who had a gloomy expression, feeling a little depressed. Shimura Danzo is Konoha's Hokage advisor. He also holds the secret organization, Root, in his hands. It can be said, the whole Konoha, except for Serutobi Hirazan. It is Shimura Danzo, the Hokage consultant, who has the greatest power. It must be difficult to refuse his request, right? Even though, the other party's daughter's appearance and figure are really terrible. Even though, the opponent's lion usually wants ten silver mines as a betrothal gift. Shimura Danzo did this just because he wanted to get some benefits from me and make it easier to embezzle the assets of our Senju clan in the future. Senju Takuya snorted coldly. He has a very clear view of Shimura Danzo's little thoughts. Takuya, are you troubled now? Uzumaki Kashina asked weakly. My husband has already worked hard enough to revive Senju. Finally got on the right track. Result, now I still have to worry about this kind of thing. Uzumaki Kashina felt like she was heartbroken. It's very distressing. After hearing what Uzumaki Kashina said, Senju Takuya nodded in agreement. After all, it is not an easy task to condense countless curse words into a letter. Seeing Senju Takuya's appearance, Uzumaki Kashina gritted his teeth. In this case, then she might as well go find Grandma Mito to come forward. She believes, if Grandma Uzumaki Mito came forward, then Shimura Danzo would not dare to say anything. But just when Uzumaki Kashina was about to leave, Senju Takuya suddenly ran to the desk and started writing furiously. Sure enough, we still have to put the overall situation first. Uzumaki Kashina can also understand Senju Takuya's thoughts. Shimura Danzo really shouldn't be offended. After a while, Senju Takuya threw away the pen in his hand. Kashina, go find someone to give this letter to Danzo. Oh, taking the letter just written from Senju Takuya's hand, Uzumaki Kashina instinctively glanced at the content. As a result, the next second, she opened her mouth in shock. Takuya, you, looking at the long and dirty words above, Uzumaki Kashina swore. Even the most aggressive woman in Konoha village cannot say even one-tenth of the curse words above. She originally thought that Senju Takuya agreed to Shimura Danzo's request, so he wrote a reply. Unexpectedly, Shimura Danzo was scolded bloody by Shimura Danzo. What's wrong? Seeing Uzumaki Kashina in a daze, Senju Takuya asked strangely. Takuya, if you don't want to agree to Danzo's request, you can just ignore it. Uzumaki Kashina said cautiously, even if he doesn't agree, he will scold him back, and he will scold him so harshly. How can this be done? He disgusted me first, I must scold him to death. Senju Takuya snorted coldly, let alone Uzumaki Mito and Tsunade, Shimura Danzo cannot make any waves. Even without these two people, with his current strength, there is no need to give Shimura Danzo a good look. All right, seeing what Senju Takuya said, Uzumaki Kashina could only nod helplessly in agreement. Soon, Senju Takuya's reply was sent to Shimura Danzo. The Shimura clan clan, ah, Senju brats. Shimura Danzo angrily tore Senju Takuya's reply into pieces. Original, after sending the marriage letter, he happily waited at home for Senju Takuya to propose marriage with a generous betrothal gift. By the way, imagine yourself becoming a Hokage in the future. Unexpectedly, the betrothal gift did not come. Waiting for it, it's an insulting letter from Senju Takuya. The first time he saw the contents of the letter, Shimura Danzo was so angry that he almost had a heart attack. Senju Takuya not only rejected his marriage, but also mocked his daughter as a fat pig that no one wanted, and would not marry even if she was willing to give up. No one in Konoha has dared to talk to him like this for countless years. Father, what's wrong? Shimura had the opportunity to look at Shimura Danzo's gloomy face and asked strangely. Fine, it's just that the marriage was rejected by Senju Takuya. Shimura Danzo took a deep breath and calmed down. What? How dare that guy refuse your request? Hearing Shimura Danzo's words, Shimura said in surprise. In his opinion, the Shimura clan is willing to marry the Senju clan because they think highly of them. But the other party actually refused. Does Senju Takuya really think that this is still the time when the Senju clan is king in hegemony? Seeing Shimura's surprised look, 
Shimura Danzo secretly complained in his heart. Not only was he rejected, he was scolded. Only. This kind of thing is really too embarrassing. Shimura Danzo also had trouble telling his son. Father, what are you going to do? I can't swallow this breath. Shimura was lucky enough to say viciously. In Konoha, he was the only one who bullied others, and no one dared to bully him. What else can be done? Get out of here quickly, I'll get annoyed when I see you. Shimura Danzo waved his hand impatiently. With Uzumaki Mito and Tsunade here, he really didn't dare to do anything to send you to Kuya. Moreover, you can't let others know about this either. Otherwise, not only was his engagement broken off, but he was also insulted. Then the prestige he has worked so hard to build over the years will probably be destroyed in one day. Seeing Shimura Danzo getting angry, Shimura had no choice but to retreat. Only, the expression on his face became increasingly gloomy. Senju Takuya, I must make him look good when I meet him next time. Don't you want to revive Senju by having children? Then I will make you cut off your descendants. Thinking of this, Shimura was lucky enough to have a cold smile on his face and quickly left the Shimura tribe. Dot dot dot, Konoha Village, Short Book Street, Uchiha Makoto was walking on the road, with the corners of his mouth raised in a nice arc from time to time. Recent, she was in a very good mood. She finally understood the inexplicable words Uzumaki Kashina said to her that day. Because, not long ago, Senju Takuya actually went to the Uchiha clan and proposed marriage to the clan leader, Uchiha Chishima. And the betrothal gift turned out to be 10 copper mines. Although he doesn't know how much a copper mine is worth, Uchiha Makoto can guess roughly from recent rumors. The key is, the Senju clan and the Uchiha clan have always been at odds. Once Senju Takuya's proposal of marriage is rejected, he may become the laughing stock of the entire Konoha. But even so, Senju Takuya still came to the Uchiha clan to propose marriage. How could she not be happy that a man was willing to pay such a high price for her? Boom, just when Uchiha Makoto's thoughts were racing, he suddenly bumped into a man. Yeah, Uchiha Makoto exclaimed, and fell backward uncontrollably at any time. But the next second, a pair of warm hands wrapped around her waist and hips, gently supporting her. You, feeling the man's palm on her buttocks, Uchiha Makoto was furious. He raised his hand and hit the man hard. Snapped. But her wrist was easily grabbed by the man. Makoto, don't you recognize me? Senju Takuya helped Uchiha Makoto up and asked with a smile. Takuya, Uchiha Makoto exclaimed. Seeing his fiancée in such a scene, Uchiha Makoto's heart couldn't help but beat wildly. It's not a good habit to be distracted while walking. Senju Takuya smiled. I'm, so sorry. Looking at the familiar face that was almost the same as in his memory, Uchiha Makoto lowered his head and whispered. Ha 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 ha, Makoto, you are still the same as before, you haven't changed at all. Senju Takuya smiled. Takuya, you too, still so, handsome. Uchiha Makoto mustered up his courage and said with a blush. This is what she wanted to say in the ninja school, but she didn't have the courage to say it until today. Makoto, what are you going to do? Senju Takuya asked. Nothing, just strolling around. Uchiha Makoto Kaido. Yeah, I happen to have nothing to do, so why not just come together? Come to think of it, we haven't seen each other in years. Senju Takuya smiled. Um, Uchiha Makoto nodded vigorously. Now, she is Senju Takuya's fiancé. If her future husband invites her to go shopping, she can't refuse, right? Just when Uchiha Makoto was thinking wildly, Senju Takuya naturally held her hand. Today, he came specifically to contact Uchiha Makoto. Although in a few days, the other party will become his wife. But, proper emotional contact is still necessary. Look, that's the leader of the Senju clan, Senju Takuya. Ha, huh, who is the woman next to him? She doesn't seem to be the wife of the Takuya clan leader, right? Idiot, look at her wearing the clothes of the Uchiha clan, she must be the future wife of the Takuya clan leader, Uchiha Makoto. This is Uchiha Makoto. It's so beautiful. No wonder the Takuya clan chief is willing to give out 10 copper mines as a betrothal gift. It's such a blessing to be chosen by Chief Takuya. Yes, he is handsome and rich. He is the perfect husband template. 
shopping while being held by Senju Takuya's hand, listening to the chatter of the villagers on the street. Two blushes appeared on Uchiha Makoto's face. She was originally a very introverted person, and what she liked most was to be alone. Every time she was looked at by others, she felt a little uncomfortable. I don't know why, but being held hand in hand by Senju Takuya while shopping today became the focus of everyone's discussion. In her heart, it actually feels a little sweet. Could it be? Is this what happiness feels like? Uchiha Makoto couldn't help but think. Watching Uchiha Makoto giggle from time to time, Senju Takuya is also in a very good mood. In his previous life, he was very fond of these female characters in Hokage. Now, they were standing in front of him alive, and they were about to be married into his home. This feeling, it's really wonderful, pity, good times are always short-lived. While the two were shopping happily, a harsh voice sounded. Yo, isn't this the useless leader of the Senju clan? If you have so many wives and you are not busy going home and making babies, how can you have time to hang out? Chief Takuya, don't you want to revive Senju? Why are you hanging out here when you're not busy making babies with your wives? A harsh and obscene voice came. Senju Takuya and Uchiha Makoto both couldn't help but frown. In front of them was a thin, short man. The man wears Konoha's ninja forehead protector on his head. His eyes are very thin, his mouth is protruding, and his face is covered with acne. His appearance soon attracted everyone's attention. Who is this guy? Why does he look so vulgar? I don't know, he must be a lunatic. He dares to offend the Takuya clan leader. He is really not afraid of death. Oh, what do you know? Although Senju Takuya is the leader of the Senju clan, he is not even a ninja. There is probably nothing he can do against him. In any case, the Takuya clan leader is backed by the Senju clan. If he is humiliated, neither Tsunade-sama nor Mido-sama will sit idly by. I see, I know this guy, he is the Hokage advisor, the son of Lord Shimura Danzo Shimura is lucky. Hiss, looking at the other party's appearance, it is obvious that he is here to cause trouble. Chief Takuya will probably be in danger today. After knowing Shimura's lucky identity, everyone onlookers began to worry about Senju Takuya. Shimura is fortunate enough to be the young leader of the Shimura clan. Considering his background, he is probably not afraid of Senju Takuya at all. And, judging from the other party's expression, it was obvious that he was prepared. Senju Takuya is probably going to be humiliated today. How can you talk like this? Uchiha Makoto took the initiative to stand in front of Senju Takuya and asked angrily. Snort, Uchiha Makoto, you are actually willing to marry into the Senju clan. Have you forgotten how many members of the Uchiha clan the Senju clan killed back then? Forget the feud for the sake of profit. In my opinion, you are a disgrace to the Uchiha clan. Shimura said with a cold snort. His words, everyone present frowned. Although everyone knows that the Uchiha clan and the Senju clan are at odds. But, after all, this is no longer the Sengoku period. Both the Uchiha clan and the Senju clan are part of Konoha. If Shimura had the honor to say such a thing, wouldn't he be provoking internal strife? Only, when I think of the other party's identity. Everyone still chose silence. You fool. Uchiha Makoto was stimulated by Shimura's lucky words, and his dark eyes turned into a pair of scarlet three tomo sharingan. The cold pupil power spread, making Shimura yuxing shocked. How, did I say something wrong? Chief Takuya, you don't just hide behind women, do you? If you ask me, trying to revive the Senju clan by having children with women is just a fool's errand. Shimura was lucky enough to challenge the general. After the Uchiha clan opened three Tomo Sharingan, they claimed to be undefeated in single combat. Fortunately, although Shimura is a Jonin, he thinks he has some strength, but he is not stupid enough to want to fight Uchiha Makoto, who has three Magatama. Makoto, please wait for me for a while. Senju Takuya patted Uchiha Makoto on the shoulder and said, Takuya, this guy said that on purpose, don't be fooled. Uchiha Makoto said anxiously, her understanding of Senju Takuya only limited to the period of ninja school. In her heart, Senju Takuya is at most Jenin's strength. The other party came today, obviously wanting to humiliate Senju Takuya in front of everyone and make the Senju clan lose face in front of everyone. Takuya can't be fooled. Do not worry, 
Senju Takuya gave Uchiha Makoto a reassuring look. Uchiha Makoto had no choice but to slowly step aside. I don't know where you came from, but adults must be responsible for their own words. Senju Takuya walked up to Shimura and said calmly. He knew the other party's purpose clearly. He doesn't know Shimura and doesn't care about his identity. Since the other party wants to humiliate him, then he has to fight back in person in front of everyone. Responsible, I wonder how Chief Takuya wants me to be responsible. Shimura was lucky enough to smile mischievously. Snapped, his answer was a loud slap in the face. I went and actually did it. Chief Takuya's slap is really a relief. Such a person should be taught a lesson. But, Shimura is lucky to be a real ninja. If we really fight, Chief Takuya will suffer. As everyone thought, after being slapped by Senju Takuya, Shimura was lucky enough not to be angry, but instead showed an excited look. Everyone saw it, he was the one who made the move first. In that case, don't blame me for being rude. Shimura was lucky enough to say viciously. Although he was the first to provoke today, since Senju Takuya took action first, he had reason to take action. As long as two people fight, with his strength, wouldn't it be easy to deal with a useless person who is not even a ninja? Snort, let you refuse the marriage between our Shimura clan. Today, I will make the Senju clan completely the laughing stock of Konoha. Are you welcome? Come on, let me see how you can be rude. Senju Takuya sneered disdainfully, snapped. Another crisp slap hit Shimura's lucky face hard. Immediately afterwards, snapped, snapped, snapped. Dot dot dot. With a series of loud slaps, Shimura's lucky face was swollen by Senju Takuya. This time, Shimura was lucky enough to be stunned. The script is wrong. With his strength, he was slapped in public. It should be Senju Takuya. PFF. Seeing this scene, everyone onlookers couldn't help laughing. I pretended like that before, but the result is this. You. Dot you. Shimura was lucky enough to curse angrily. As a Jonin, he felt like he was being completely humiliated when he was slapped wildly in front of so many people. Now, anger had gone to his head. Fortunately for Shimura, he didn't even think about why Senju Takuya could slap him so easily. Seeing Shimura rushing up, Senju Takuya had a sneer on his face. If you want to embarrass me, then I will embarrass you. Snapped, 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 dot dot dot. Senju Takuya didn't do anything harsh, just slapped Shimura's lucky face again and again. After dozens of hits in a row, Shimura's lucky face swelled into a pig's head. Ha 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 ha, it's so relieved, I've long been unhappy with this person. That's right, since Shimura Danzo is his father, Shimura is lucky enough to do a lot of mischief in Konoha. Chief Takuya is simply my idol. He did what I always wanted to do but didn't dare to do. But, Chief Takuya won't get into any trouble, right? Thinking too much, I'm not afraid of anyone, Takuya clan leader. No, haven't you noticed that in front of the Takuya clan leader, Shimura is lucky that this Jonin has no power to fight back. Hey, it seems true when you say that. Fortunately, Shimura is very annoying, but he is indeed very powerful. In this case, hasn't the strength of the Takuya clan leader already surpassed that of Jonin? Everyone looked at Senju Takuya with a calm expression in shock. No one thought that the leader of the Senju clan, who was not even a ninja, could be so powerful. After a long time, looking at Shimura, whose face was swollen into a pig's head and lying on the ground dying, fortunately, Senju Takuya also lost interest, snorted and prepared to leave. You, do you know who I am? Seeing Senju Takuya preparing to leave, Shimura had the honor to shout loudly. Oh, who are you? Senju Takuya asked curiously. Lousy is from the Shimura clan. Shimura is lucky. Shimura Danzo is my father. Shimura was lucky enough to say angrily. He has never been bullied like this since he was a child. Are you Shimura Danzo's son? Hearing Shimura's lucky words, Senju Takuya opened his mouth in surprise. That's right. You, you're dead. Shimura hummed happily. Are you afraid now? Late. Sigh. I'll tell you who would trouble me for no reason. So you are Shimura Danzo's son. A smile appeared on Senju Takuya's face. Now that the other party has announced his, her family status, he should, take care of, the other party more. You, what do you want to do? 
Seeing Senju Takuya walking up to him with a smirk on his face, Shimura had a bad feeling in his heart. I don't want to do anything. I just suddenly felt that I just hit him too lightly. Senju Takuya smiled. Immediately, he raised his foot and stepped on it hard. Click. Following the sound of an egg breaking, Shimura's miserable howl resounded throughout the sky. Everyone took a breath of cold air. Good guy, Chief Takuya, this is too cruel. For a moment, the same thought came to many people's minds. Anyway, never mess with Senju Takuya. Makoto, let's go. After deposing Shimura, Senju Takuya was in a good mood, took Uchiha Makoto's hand and left. Takuya, you did so cruelly today, aren't you afraid of Shimura Donzo's revenge? Uchiha Makoto asked worriedly. Senju Takuya's attack was too heavy today. Not only did the Shimura clan lose face, but Shimura was fortunate enough to be seriously injured. It is foreseeable that Shimura Danzo will be furious. Do not worry, Shimura Danzo, I don't take it seriously yet. Besides, if I hadn't been so strong today, I'm afraid it would be the Senju clan who would be embarrassed in front of everyone. Senju Takuya said calmly. Others have bullied him to the point of being bullied, so he will naturally not be merciful. As for Shimura Danzo's revenge, let's see if he has this ability. Seeing Senju Takuya's confident expression, Uchiha Makoto could only feel his heart beating fast. Even the rebellious Uchiha tribe would not dare to do such a thing to Shimura, right? Even, the clan has also warned the clan members that no matter what the reason, they are not allowed to easily provoke the ninjas of the Sarutobi clan and the Shimura clan. But his future husband did not take Shimura Danzo seriously at all. It's so, so handsome. The Uchiha clan all worships the strong, and Uchiha Makoto is no exception. Senju Takuya's performance today made her favorability soar again. Dot dot dot. The Shimura tribe. Fortunately, why are you injured like this? Tell me and I will avenge you. Seeing Shimura's miserable appearance, Shimura Danzo was shocked and angry. How could his precious son be beaten like this? Father. Seeing Shimura Danzo, Shimura had the pleasure of crying. That look, not to mention how miserable it was. Fortunately, please don't cry first and tell me what happened. Shimura Danzo said anxiously. Father, it's Senju Takuya. I was beaten by Senju Takuya. Shimura was lucky enough to sob. Senju Takuya. He is a loser who is not even a ninja. Why did you get beaten by him? Shimura Danzo said in surprise. Father, that guy Senju Takuya, he is not useless. In his hands, I didn't even have a chance to fight back. Shimura said sadly. What? Hearing Shimura's lucky words, Shimura Danzo opened his mouth in disbelief. He knew his son better than anything else, that was the real Jonin. Unable to fight back in front of Senju Takuya. So how strong is Senju Takuya? Really, there's more to this person than meets the eye. But why did he hit you? Shimura Danzo asked after being silent for a while. I went shopping today and saw Senju Takuya and Uchiha Makoto together. I feel very angry when I think about that guy rejecting the marriage alliance between our Shimura clan and getting mixed up with the despicable Uchiha clan. Then, I couldn't help but stepped forward and argued with him for a few words. As a result, he beat me like this, Shimura said with an aggrieved look on his face. What, this is really unreasonable, didn't you tell him that you were my son? You revealed your identity, but he still dared to take action. Shimura Danzo said angrily, who knows, hearing his words, Shimura cried even louder. Ua, I thought so too, but who knew, after I told you that I was your son, he beat me even harder. Ooh, I wasn't so miserable. Fortunately, Shimura became more and more aggrieved the more he spoke. Then, he shouldn't have said that again. I'm really pissed off. Senju Takuya this fool. After Shimura Danzo heard Shimura's lucky words, he covered his chest and almost fainted on the spot. Good guy. Did he beat him even harder after knowing that he was his son? What does this person want to do? Not only did he reject his request for marriage, but he also wrote a letter scolding him. Now he beats his son like this. What's the difference between this and sitting on his head? Snort, Senju Takuya, I won't let you go. Shimura Danzo snorted coldly, turned and left. He is going to find Serutobi Hirazan and seek justice for his son. Dot dot dot, Hokage building, Hokage office, Hirazan. 
Shimura Danzo opened the door and shouted loudly. What did you shout? Looking at Shimura Danzo who broke in, Sarutobi Hirazan was a little unhappy. He is just old, not deaf. Senju Takuya openly attacked the ninjas in the village and seriously injured them, which had a very bad impact. I apply to have Senju Takuya under control and hand it over to, Jen, for interrogation. Shimura Danzo said angrily, as long as it reaches the root, Senju Takuya will peel off the skin even if he doesn't die. Danzo, I already know the ins and outs of this matter. It was Shimura who had the honor to provoke me first and made inappropriate remarks. Let's end this matter, Sarutobi Hirazan said calmly. He gets angry when this is mentioned. Shimura was lucky enough to dare to say something like, the Senju clan and the Uchiha clan are feuding, in public. Such an idiot, even if he was beaten to death on the spot, Sarutobi Hirazan would have no objection. Hirazan, do you know that, fortunately, he will, be crippled? Shimura Danzo asked angrily, he was just such a son, but now he couldn't even be a man. Ahem, accidents are bound to happen in battle. Sarutobi Hirazan said, quote question mark question mark question mark quote. Hearing Sarutobi Hirazan's cold words, Shimura Danzo's eyes widened in disbelief. How could this old friend of mine do this to him? Okay, let's end this matter. With any luck, I will ask Tsunade to treat him. Sarutobi Hirazan did not give Shimura Danzo a chance to continue speaking and directly settle the matter. This is his way of expressing his inner dissatisfaction. Shimura Danzo went behind his back to marry the Senju clan. Do you really think he didn't know? Snort, Hirazan, you're going to regret this. Shimura Danzo snorted, turned and left the Hokage building. He now understood that Sarutobi Hirazan was hopeless. If he wants revenge, he still has to rely on himself. But, he would not dare to directly send people to attack Senju Takuya. Once this matter is discovered, he will never be able to take the position of Hokage for the rest of his life. So, when Serutobi Hirazan did not support him, he could only choose to swallow his anger. This was the first time since he took power that he felt so aggrieved. The fact that Konoha's most powerful elder, Shimura Danzo's son, was beaten up in the street by the Senju clan leader was really shocking. So, with everyone talking, this matter quickly spread throughout Konoha. Ha 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 ha, Chief Takuya did a great job this time. This is how you should deal with those guys from the Shimura clan. Yes, the ninjas of the Shimura clan are all fools, and they will bully the ninjas of the same village one by one. Yes, I have been bullied by them. We civilian ninjas can't do anything to them. Bullying is not bad. I was tricked by ninjas from the Shimura clan before and almost lost my life. Originally, I had strong objections to Clan Chief Takuya because of his choice of wife, but now I declare that Clan Chief Takuya is my idol. That's right, what's wrong with a man like Chief Takuya having more wives? I wish Chief Takuya to revive the Senju clan as soon as possible. By then, the Shimura clan will not dare to be as arrogant as now. Since Shimura Danzo became a Hokage advisor, the Shimura clan's ninjas have become more and more arrogant. Many civilian ninjas have been bullied by them. But due to the other party's background, most people just dare to be angry and dare not speak out. Therefore, after Senju Takuya beat up the young patriarch of the Shimura clan in the street, Shimura was lucky, many people clapped their hands excitedly. Even Senju Takuya himself did not expect that after beating Shimura so violently, his reputation in the village would actually improve a lot. Compared with ordinary civilian ninjas, Konoha's ninjas have seen more things. On the one hand, they were shocked by the amazing strength displayed by Senju Takuya, and on the other hand, they were shocked by the fact that Shimura Danzo, who had always been strong, did not make any move. In short, because of this matter, the views of various ninja clans on Senju Takuya have also undergone tremendous changes. Dot dot dot, Uchiha clan, unexpectedly, Shimura Danzo actually chose to swallow his anger. Snort, this guy turns out to be a bully and a bully. Uchiha Chiandao snorted coldly. Over the years, the Uchiha clan has been oppressed by Shimura Danzo. Just how much of the Uchiha family's assets were robbed by Shimura Danzo? He also tried to resist, but every time he did so, he was rewarded with stronger suppression in the village. The Uchiha clan is obviously proud, but they have to bow their heads in front of power. Thought, 
The Uchiha family can only be slowly cannibalized little by little until they are reduced to a second-rate family. But today, Senju Takuya gave him hope again. When his son was beaten like this, Shimura Danzo didn't even move. That can only explain one thing. Shimura Danzo. He is scared. Maybe, in the future, Senju Takuya can really change the situation in Konoha by himself. Uchiha Chiandao is increasingly happy that she agreed to Senju Takuya's request for marriage. After, just hold on to Senju Takuya's thigh. Then the Uchiha clan no longer has to worry about being ostracized by the village. Someone, go deliver something to Uchiha Makoto's house. Forget it, let me go and visit in person. Dot dot dot. The Inazuka clan. Several elders sat together with solemn expressions on their faces. Judging from the current situation, Shimura Danzo has already lost in terms of momentum. Even if they are lonely, the heritage of the Senju clan is still strong. So, we have to change our strategy. We should try our best to make friends with the Senju clan in the future. Chief Inazuka said solemnly. The rest of the people all nodded without any comments. Inazuka Claw, exist. A woman with a hot figure, a very heroic appearance, and a wild beauty all over her body walked out of the crowd. From now on, you will be responsible for handling our relationship with the Senju clan. Do you understand? The Inazuka clan leader asked. Nu, Inazuka Pa responded. She also knew very well that with her special Jonin strength, it was probably not her turn to take on this important task. Now that the clan leader has given her such an important task, it is simply because she is the most beautiful woman of the younger generation of the Inazuka clan. If she is attracted by Senju Takuya, then the Inazuka clan can naturally marry the Senju clan. However, Inazuka Kiba was not opposed to this arrangement. After hearing that Senju Takuya beat up Shimura Danzo's son in the street, she had some affection for this man who had never been masked before. It seems to be a good thing if you can marry such a man. Dot dot dot. The Abarame clan, the Hyuga clan, the Kurama clan. At the same time, almost all ninja clans are performing almost the same plot. After learning that Senju Takuya had seriously injured Shimura Danzo's son without any repercussions, those families that had remained neutral began to try their best to show their favor to the Senju clan. Dot dot dot. Senju tribe land. Night. Senju Takuya led a group of daughters-in-law to Uzumaki Mito's home. Grandma Mito, I'm here to see you. He he he. It's little Takuya. Hearing Senju Takuya's voice, Uzumaki Mito walked out of the room with a smile. Hello Grandma Mito, Uzumaki Kashina, Yakushi no no, Yamanaka Ono, Naramiki, and Akamiki Ryoko shouted in unison. Well, good boy, sit down, sit down. Looking at the five beauties behind Senju Takuya, Uzumaki Mito's eyes narrowed with laughter. Senju clan, how long has it been since it was so lively? At the beginning, she was also a little naive about the, choosing a wife, plan that little Takuya came up with. But now seeing people like Uzumaki Kashina, she suddenly felt that little Takuya's plan seemed to be very good. There are so many wives, as long as little Takuya is willing to work hard. It won't be long. The Senju clan will have many descendants, right? At that time, how lively it must be. Yo, isn't this our patriarch? Why do you have time to come here today? Just as a few people were chatting, Tsunade's voice came from outside the door. I'm here to see Grandma Mito. Senju Takuya said with a smile. Snort. Looking at Senju Takuya's appearance, Tsunade snorted and ignored it. Seeing her like this, Senju Takuya touched his nose. It seems like you haven't messed with this woman, right? Tsunade is here too. Then let's have dinner together as a family tonight. Uzumaki Mito said kindly. Good. Then let's prepare the meal. After hearing Uzumaki Mito's words, Uzumaki Kashina and others stood up habitually. Unexpectedly, he was stopped by Uzumaki Mito. Cooking is not good for your health. You have to give birth to a baby for Senju, so you can't be tired. Everyone sit down. After hearing what Uzumaki Mito said, Uzumaki Kashina and others had no choice but to do it. Little Takuya, go. After Uzumaki Kashina and others sat down, Uzumaki Mito said to little Takuya again. Ah, I go. Senju Takuya pointed at himself in disbelief. Before, Grandma Mito never lets him cook. Looking at Uzumaki Mito, 
then at Uzumaki Kashina and others, Senju Takuya showed a helpless smile on his face. So, love disappears, right, how, you don't even want to cook for the old lady? Uzumaki Mito snorted and said slowly. Ah, no, I'd love to. Senju Takuya quickly stood up and walked towards the kitchen. PFF, seeing Senju Takuya's confused look, Tsunade couldn't help laughing. This guy also has his moments of failure. What are you laughing laughing? You go too. You are so old, but you still can't find a partner. Uzumaki Mito said fiercely to Tsunade. Ah this. Tsunade, who suddenly suffered a disaster, stood up in confusion. Originally, she was enjoying the show, but she didn't expect that it would happen to her. Who the hell are you looking for to reason with? Are you here too? Seeing Tsunade walking in with a pout, Senju Takuya smiled. Snort, it's not all because of you. Why are you leading your wives around when you have nothing to do? It makes me feel uncomfortable even eating now. Tsunade complained unhappily when he saw Senju Takuya gloating about his misfortune. Originally, Grandma was dissatisfied with her never getting married. Now Senju Takuya is bringing his five wives over. It would be strange if Grandma doesn't urge her. How can you blame me? If you get married, Grandma Mito will definitely not say anything about you. Senju Takuya said with a smile. Did not expect. I brought my wife over for dinner today, and I got an unexpected bonus. Cut, I don't want to take advantage of those stinky men. Tsunade sneered. She was very clear about the virtues of those men. Tsunade felt extremely sick when she thought about the way those people looked at her. One by one, all are lechers. By the way, you severely injured that old man Donzo's son. Be careful that he secretly retaliates against you. If anything goes wrong, you must inform me as soon as possible. Tsunade looked at Senju Takuya and warned. Although Shimura Danzo is not making any moves now, no one knows what is going on in his mind. So, Tsunade thought it was better to be just in case. Nu, Tsunade sister, you really care about me. Senju Takuya looked Tsunade up and down. I have to say, Tsunade's figure is really nothing to say. Even after being together for so long, it still makes him feel excited every time. Hello, what's that look in your eyes, you? Tsunade pulled at his clothes uncomfortably. Tsunade's sister, the more I think about it, the more I think Uzumaki Kashina is right. Don't let the rich water flow to outsiders, fields. Why don't you just marry me? Senju Takuya chuckled. Now, his strength has long been different from what it used to be. So, facing Tsunade, he also gained some confidence. Okay, you guy, you dare to tease me. After hearing Senju Takuya's words, Tsunade's face turned red, and he clenched his fists in embarrassment and prepared to teach Senju Takuya a lesson. But the next second, her wrist was grabbed by Senju Takuya. You, quote dot 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 quote. Seeing his wrist being grabbed, Tsunade tried hard to break free. But what she didn't expect was that she didn't break away. This surprised Tsunade. Senju Takuya, when did you become so strong? Tsunade sister, do you know? All those suitors of yours were taken away by me. The news that you were Lily was also released by me. Senju Takuya said slowly. In the past, he was still young and had little strength. It took a lot of effort to get rid of those annoying flies around Tsunade. In, Kato Dan even died in a mission because of his intervention before he got close to Tsunade. So, Tsunade can be said to have been single since birth. Okay, it turns out it's you who's been behind this. After hearing Senju Takuya's words, Tsunade was furious. No wonder people looked at her so wrong for a while. It turns out it was all this guy's fault. Sister Tsunade, I used to be young and could only do some tricks. But now that I've grown up and gained strength, it's time to tell you some of my inner thoughts. In my heart, you have been my woman for a long time. No one can touch you except me. Senju Takuya said somewhat domineeringly. Feeling Senju Takuya's aggressive eyes, Tsunade was extremely flustered. She didn't know what was going on with her. Even if she was on the verge of life and death, she had never been so panicked as she was now. Just when Tsunade was stunned, Senju Takuya lowered his head and gently pecked Tsunade on the lips. This time, Tsunade was completely confused. Own. Forced to kiss. The first kiss was taken away inexplicably. 
Tsunade wanted to beat Senju Takuya hard, but his body couldn't muster any strength. Looking at Senju Takuya's familiar face, Tsunade finally broke free from Senju Takuya's restraints, turned around and ran away. Looking at Tsunade's running back, Senju Takuya touched his lips and carefully recalled the feeling just now. I have to say, Tsunade is truly a beauty in the world. Sister Tsunade, you will be mine sooner or later. Senju Takuya muttered in a good mood. He knew Tsunade too well. In today's situation, Tsunade did not get angry at him, but chose to run away. That was enough to show that Tsunade had a good impression of him. As long as he works harder, Tsunade will become one of his wives in a short time. Dot dot dot. The meal is ready. Senju Takuya walked out of the kitchen carrying the cooked rice. I found that there was something wrong with the way Uzumaki Mito and others looked at me. Ha, huh, where's Tsunade? Senju Takuya asked pretendingly. Then I have to ask you. Uzumaki Kashina snickered. Just. They all saw Tsunade running away in a panic. That red face and shy look. If nothing happened in the kitchen just now, they wouldn't believe it even to death. Little Takuya, I'm old, and Tsunade doesn't listen to me anymore. So, I will leave her lifelong affairs to you. Uzumaki Mito pointed out something. Ah, don't worry, Grandma Mito. Tsunade's marriage is all up to me. Senju Takuya also said cryptically. Hearing his words, Uzumaki Mito nodded with satisfaction. She knew her granddaughter too well. Judging from the look on Tsunade's face when she ran out just now, this girl may have fallen in love with little Takuya. Although it was a bit unexpected, she was happy to see such a result. Little Takuya, I heard you've been in some trouble lately. If there's anything you can't handle, you must tell me. Although my old bones are not as good as they used to be, it is still very easy to deal with certain people. The most important thing for you now is to have more fat boys. You can't be lazy. Uzumaki Mito said kindly. After hearing her words, Uzumaki Kashina and others all turned red and lowered their heads. They just want their husbands to be lazy so that they can take a break. Grandma Mito, I can handle these things myself. I am now the leader of the Senju clan. You must not underestimate me. Senju Takuya felt warm in his heart. He could feel the deep caring in Uzumaki Mito's words. That's good. People tend to be nagging when they get old, so let's eat first. Uzumaki Mito said with a smile. She had not experienced this feeling of eating with many family members for a long time. Senju can regain some popularity. All of these. It's all because of little Takuya. Konoha Village. Uchiha Tribe Land. Makoto, today you will marry the Takuya clan leader. After you get married, remember to serve Chief Takuya well with all your heart. Strive to give Chief Takuya some children as soon as possible. Uchiha Chishima warned Uchiha Makoto. I understand, Chiandao clan chief. You have repeated these words many times. Uchiha Makoto muttered impatiently. But, after hearing Uchiha Makoto's complaint, instead of being angry, Uchiha Makoto showed a flattering smile. Then I won't say much more, just prepare yourself. After Uchiha Chiandao finished speaking, he turned and left the room. He is in a very good mood now. After today, he could send people to take delivery of the ten copper mines promised by Senju Takuya. Father, looking at Uchiha Chishima walking out, Uchiha Fugaku said expressionlessly. Fugaku, forget about Makoto, there are plenty of girls in the Uchiha clan. Uchiha Chishima patted Uchiha Fugaku on the shoulder and said. Nu, Uchiha Fugaku bowed his head and responded. A pair of Scarlet Three Tomo Sharingan began to spin wildly. Since being defeated by Senju Takuya last time, the power of Uchiha Fugaku's eyes has continued to grow. After consulting the Uchiha clan's classics, he learned that when the Uchiha clan is strongly stimulated, Sharingan can further evolve. Even, after feeling the pain of losing a loved one, Three Tomo Sharingan was also able to evolve into the legendary Mangekyo Sharingan. This allowed Uchiha Fugaku to find a direction that could defeat Senju Takuya. Pity, Uchiha Chishima did not notice anything unusual about Uchiha Fugaku. Dot dot dot. Makoto, you look so beautiful today. Uzumaki Kashina looked at Uchiha Makoto in full dress and couldn't help but admire. Even after being best friends for so many years, Uchiha Makoto's dress today still surprised her. Kashina, you were just as beautiful on your wedding day. 
Uchiha Makoto smiled Kaido. Ha 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 ha. Makoto, even if you say that, I won't be happy at all. Seeing Uzumaki Kashina's hands on her hips, Uchiha Makoto couldn't help rolling her eyes. You look like this, you are really not convincing at all. Kashina, from now on, we will be sisters for life. Thank you. Uchiha Makoto looked at Uzumaki Kashina and said sincerely. If it weren't for Kashina, how could she be as happy as she is now? This is necessary. If you want to thank me, then help me more often. Uzumaki Kashina smiled. Can I help you more in normal times? What's the meaning? Could it be that you are at odds with Takuya's other wives? Uchiha Makoto asked a little strangely. Of course not. I mean, Uzumaki Kashina lay down and whispered a few words in Uchiha Makoto's ear. Uchiha Makoto's eyes widened instantly. Kashina, what did you say? You guys have to sleep with Takuya every night. Uchiha Makoto exclaimed in disbelief. Shish. Keep your voice down. Uzumaki Kashina quickly covered Uchiha Makoto's mouth. Sorry, I was a little surprised by what you said. In the worldview of Uchiha Makoto, although Senju Takuya has many wives, they should sleep separately at night. It's up to Takuya to decide which one to favor. But, Uzumaki Kashina's words made her a little confused. Sleep together, how embarrassing that is. Forget it, you will know when you are tortured to the point where you just want to beg for mercy. Uzumaki Kashina saw Uchiha Makoto so surprised and said no more. Anyway, when she realizes how powerful Takuya is in the future, she will probably understand what she said. Dot dot dot. Witnessed by everyone in Konoha, Senju Takuya led a luxurious wedding team and picked up Uchiha Makoto from the Uchiha tribe. And, since the Uchiha clan is very concerned about face, so, Uchiha Cheshima also specially mobilized a team from the police force to see off Uchiha Makoto. This scene, let the villagers of Konoha talk about it. Did not expect, the Senju clan and the Uchiha clan can still be so harmonious. After taking Uchiha Makoto back to the Senju tribe, Senju Takuya came to the front yard to drink with everyone. During the banquet, Sarutobi Hirazan's face was not very good. This time Senju Takuya held a wedding, and as Hokage, he gave out a lot of gifts. This is the fourth time. There may be more times in the future. Why the hell can't you not give me an invitation? As a Hokage, he is also a disciple of Senju Tobarama. It is impossible to refuse to come to the wedding. Sarutobi Hirazan felt very unhappy when he thought about having to pay endlessly in the future. Looking at Senju Takuya with a proud smile on his face, Sarutobi Hirazan encouraged Akamaiki Dingzo, Uchiha Chijima, Hayuga Hiyashi and others to start drinking with Senju Takuya. I want to vent the bad anger in my heart. Pity. With Senju Takuya's physique, even if they took turns attacking, they would still be drunk and vomiting in the end. This group of people was very depressed. After accompanying the guests, Senju Takuya came to the backyard. Open the door and enter the wedding room. Uchiha Makoto was sitting quietly by the bed. Makoto, long wait, Senju Takuya smiled, Takuya. Seeing Senju Takuya's appearance, Uchiha Makoto lowered his head shyly. When she thought about what she was about to do, her heart couldn't help but jump. Makoto, are you ready? Senju Takuya came to the bedside and gently took Uchiha Makoto into his arms. I, I can do either. Uchiha Makoto's face turned red as if he was about to bleed. He lowered his head and nervously pulled at the corner of his clothes. Seeing her weak and writable appearance, Senju Takuya couldn't help but swallowed. So tempting. Uchiha Makoto is not only beautiful, but also has a temperament that makes him want to stop. Without any further hesitation, Senju Takuya picked up Uchiha Makoto and threw her on the bed. Hee <laughs> hee. Outside the door, there was a sudden chuckle. Takuya. Someone. Kashina is outside. Uchiha Makoto said shyly. She knew Uzumaki Kashina too well. This guy must have taken this opportunity to eavesdrop on purpose. It's fine. Today she listens to you, and tomorrow let her call you. Senju Takuya smiled. Hearing such harsh words, Uchiha Makoto's body became completely weak. You bad guy, how can you be like this? Well, I hope everyone will support it and subscribe more.